Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, whoa, oh, hello. Hold on a minute. How's that? Ah, that sounds better. I can't hear myself. Brilliant. That's the way I like it. I like to inflict my voice on you, but, um... I don't like to listen to it myself. <laughs> All right. Okay, then. So, first things first. What was I saying? Oh, YouTube sound that you're not signed in? Yeah, I had to do that earlier as well. <laughs> okay, so. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Niren Plays. I am, as always, Niren, and today we're going to be playing... Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now, first things up front, you may notice that there's a little bit of a difference with my voice. Now, I'll be honest with you. I can't tell if, um, if it's better or if it's worse. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I have a button for that. I need to remember to use it. So, yeah, I can't really tell if it's better or if it's worse. I know it's louder, so my apologies if I caught you off guard with that one. But, um, yeah. Uh, I had to do a little bit of fiddling around because I wasn't happy with the way that my voice was sounding in a bunch of the streams. Uh, one of the things that I noted as I've been going back through my streams to see if there's anything I can improve on is that there's definitely an issue with the sound. It's not always obvious and noticeable but sometimes I feel it's really noticeable and that is that my voice gets cu cut off at the beginning and end of sentences. So in order to mitigate that issue I have gone back and I've redone all of my sound. I sound deeper well, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> okay. Um, but I've, I've adjusted a bunch of things. I've tried to get the best sound out of this that I possibly can. I have considered the, uh, the, the difference in how I'll sound with them without music. And uh, that's the other thing is I've also brought the volume of the music down. Like, you have a stuffy nose. I do have a stuffy nose. <laughs> that that would be that. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, I just snuffed down a bowl of rice and, um, proceeded to follow that up with a piece of chocolate. And, uh, yeah, I, I find, find myself a little bit stuffy now. <laughs> uh, it could, it could also be the sound settings. Like I said, Things have changed. Things are, are different now than they were. A lot of things are different now than what they were. Um, but just letting you know, if the, if something sounds a little bit off, to take note of it. Let me know what if there's um, any issues. Just just tell me what you think. Does it sound clearer? Does it sound better? Am I going to continue to have this single hiccup that is going to bother me until it actually happens? Quite possibly. <sighs> so, um... Yeah. Uh, one thing I said in an earlier stream was that I have learned my lesson. I'm not going to screw with things on the stream. Um, on a day that I'm actually streaming, because then it gives me some time to actually fix it if it goes wrong. Um, apparently that lesson wasn't learnt, and today I am once again hurrying to try and get things finished so I can start in time. Thankfully today I did actually finish, uh, hurried though I was, I did finish in time, and... Um, yeah. Here we are. 
Okay, take a breath. Take a breath. I'm going a million miles a, a minute right now. Um, just need to take a moment. Breathe it in. <sighs> and release. Let it go. So, uh, you probably noticed that the, um, that the schedule for the coming week is a little bit different. It's even more different than it was last week. Um, I've included Saturday and Sunday on the list because I've been thinking about where I want to go from here and thinking about the days that I want to stream and we've already discussed the fact that I'm going to be doing Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday but I'm actually considering that in the future I may stream on Sunday um making that a five day week of course but with uh, with breaks in, in between the important thing is that I have Saturday off, because that's the only day that Kiko and I will have off at the same time. Um, but I want to try something on Sundays. I think I can do on Sunday like a just chatting stream. And I'm thinking that we'll give that a try. Um, not this week, not the coming next week. Uh, maybe the week after that, we'll give it a go and we'll try and see if we can do a Sunday um, just chatting stream. Let's see if it see if it holds. See if anyone actually bothers to turn up. I say bothers to turn up. You know what I mean. Let's see if anyone turns up. See if anyone sticks around. I don't know if people necessarily want to uh, just listen to me chat, but who knows. I know that uh, Charming and Goddess said they, they come here for the company, which is excellent. I'm really happy that they did come along uh, in that case. So maybe there is a market there for, for doing something on Sunday, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I'm not making any announcements just yet. Uh, just, just know that I'm thinking about it. If when Pat fixes internet, probably come. Oh, that's true. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. So if I was to do, okay, if I was to do the Sunday streams, I'd probably do them earlier because there's other things that I want to get done later in the day. So it may be around midday our time. So like five hours ago. Whatever, whatever time it is for you, five hours ago, that's that's possibly where I will start my Sunday streams. But yeah, who knows? We talk about things like uh, news from the week. We could talk about just 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 chatting things. If you, you can ask questions, and I can answer questions, and ask you guys questions and stuff like that. Either way, like I said, not really an announcement as such, just a, hey, I've got an idea. And I figured that adding Saturday and Sunday to the schedule is probably a good idea anyway, because if, if I do decide to do something on those days, even if it's like a gorilla stream or something, you know, the, the schedule is there the full week. I'm not adding um, graphics in and taking graphics out just because I'm changing days. The whole week is there now. I just change the text and that's it. That's all I have to do. Makes it easier on me. So, yeah. Um, that's that. Um, honestly, not a huge lot else to say except for Today we're going to be playing Tears of the Kingdom. Um, our goal is going to be to reach Rito Village and uh, maybe do some underground stuff there as well. Um, yeah, that's it. 
That's all. Uh, so I'm just going to switch straight over to the game. And uh, we'll go from there. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, I was testing the blackout for the screen yesterday, but I've, uh, uh, the button on the stream deck doesn't work. <laughs> um, yeah, because I, I, I changed the scene, so, yeah, the, the button on stream deck doesn't work anymore, so when I pressed it, it didn't, uh, go away. Anyway, this is a really awkward start, but screw it. Let's go. Uh, oh yeah, the last, in the last stream we are at the Forgotten Temple, that's right. Armored enemies. A sword is useless against enemies encased in rocky armor. Use a hammer to smash the armor apart first. Oh! I just tend to use bomb flowers. Though I suppose using a hammer is probably a good idea too. Alright, so... So, so, so... Yeah, the last time we played, we were in here, we saw the map of where all the geoglyphs are. <clears throat> and we found some stuff around, like, uh, there was some berries and there's a cut-in down there. Did we check that one? I don't recall. Oh, there's no chest in there, so I'm going to assume we did. And there's the Korok we, we liberated. <laughs> Alright. Um, well, I'm in a hole now. Okay, so, like I said, today's goal is to get to Rito Village because um, we'll, we'll head to the first of the major phenomena that um, Pura wants us to investigate. Oh, hello. Shell shrooms. More chill shrooms. You're definitely curious to see how Rito Village... Yeah, me too. Like, I didn't do the Rito... <clears throat> I didn't... I, I, I started playing a little bit... Um, of this game. Off stream. I've, I've, I've botched that up. I'm not going to reach there, am I? I did play a little bit of this game off stream, but because I knew that I wanted to do Rito first, I did a different town in my off stream playthrough. And I haven't played any of the... of my off stream game since. Um, so this all, this is all new to me, um, as, as of leaving this temple, the Forgotten Temple, it will all be brand new to me, because this is as far as I got in my, uh, offline play. And tame a horse. Oh, I should do a horse, shouldn't I? Now, I was under the impression... Oh, hello. Soldier's broadsword. Okay, hang on a minute. Uh, that... Yeah, I'm just gonna drop that and pick up the soldier's broadsword. <clears throat> Alright, I was under the impression that there was some amount of saved game crossover 
but apparently not. Like, I, I was under the impression it was, like, your horses continue over. Uh, but I haven't seen anything that would suggest that so far. Like, I've already spoken to one of the horse guys, and my horses aren't there, so... Ah, oh, no! Link! No. That button. There we go. That's what I was trying to do! <clears throat> Next question. Why am I taking the hard way out? Why didn't I just teleport? Fast travel is a thing in this game. Shut up! Ah, oh, okay. It's kind of crazy down here, though, isn't it? Very somber. Because you get views like that. Yeah, exactly. Alright. Um. <clears throat> so that's the... That's actually the shrine inside the temple. Look how big the temple is. That's where I'm standing at the front of the temple, and that's where the shrine is at the back of the temple. That is bigger than Hyrule Castle. That's kind of bonkers when you really think about it. That's that's huge. It still goes to show that as big as Hyrule is, it's still scaled. Because when you have a true scale location like this temple it it stands out as being a huge part of the map like even Hyrule Castle looks small in comparison so yeah very interesting it makes me wonder how big Hyrule really is and if we're ever going to see a Legend of Zelda game with the true scale Hyrule. Uh, let's see. Uh, look, it's still got the loft wings on the wall. Um, I don't think I can get out very easily like this. I may have to... Oh, bro, if I... Where would I teleport out to? Here. <clears throat> um... Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's, let's, um... Let's fast travel to this location. Uh, it takes us a little bit further back from where we are now, because we, we are heading in that northerly direction. But... From this tower, we should be able to see um, other towers, perhaps, other locations that we want to go to. Oh, yeah, I have to sit in the ejector seat first, don't I? Hang on, I passed something there. There we go. Um, very interesting. Okay. <clears throat> oh, look. There's one of the other geoglyphs. It's on the side of the mountain. So I had an idea that in the last stream that maybe that was referencing the manor house in Twilight Princess? I'm not sure, but, uh, well, we'll find out eventually, I'm sure. 
Um, and there should be more up that way. Do you know where I'm not seeing, though? The bloody tower. I decided to come up this far to be able to see if I could see the next tower, but I, I, I can't. Let's, uh... Walk up to the edge. Ever so gently. Uh, nothing down there. There's the... That's the shrine... Oh, not shrine. The temple we just came from. But you can see how far back it goes. It's huge. Really is. Um... Oh, there's another one, look. That one is... Uh, the Demon King looking... Geoglyph. I should pin the... Why are we high? We're high because we're looking for things, Mary. Welcome to the stream. Um, no, I'm not going to pin the geoglyph. I mean, it, I don't think that there's any necessity to do so. They're pretty big and glowy as they are. I'm looking to pin the... The tower, but I have no idea where the tower is. <laughs> Wait, is that... Oh, there's something on the mountain there. And something in that crater. Interesting. But this is where we're aiming for. There's Rito Village. And there seems to be a pass that we can use. If we follow this um, this road here, uh, there seems to be a little house or something there, and we can follow it along. It takes us right to the foot of Rito Village. There's also the... Um, Stable there as well. Hmm. So why don't we... Go to the geoglyph. And off through Torito Village. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have to go to the geoglyphs to do the memory stuff. But I'm just saying I don't need to tag them. Like, they're, they're pretty obvious. Uh, I'm still looking for the... For the tower, though. I don't see... The tower for that region. <clears throat> oh, I'm currently in the sky. Right, yeah. There we go. So, I'm currently looking in this direction. I thought there would be the tower around here somewhere. But I'm just not seeing it. Oh, wait, there it is. Oh, that's it right there. That's a miss, but whatever, it'll do. There we go. Blue one. Oh, no, that's not... That's a, the wrong tower. I'm looking for the tower in this region. No, the tower's not orange. <clears throat> the tower just has these uh, bright lights at the base now. Um, there's the labyrinth. There's the other geoglyph. Hmm. Very intriguing. Okay. Well. Let's have a little look. Let's see if it, I can see better from uh, something slightly higher. <clears throat> Maybe my vision is being obscured by that. Yeah, I'm going to go with the the idea that I can't see because that's in the way, perhaps. It would make sense if there was a tower directly below it. <clears throat> All right. Let's uh let's jump.
wonder how far we can get. Can we get over there? I don't think so. I'm going to have to glide anyway. I really hope that I can actually, you know, make it to the other side. <clears throat> oh, I'm cold. That's going to be an issue. Link, equip your warm pants. Okay, should be pretty good now. Hot pants. Yes, that's where it is. Link needs to equip his hot pants. Ooh. Ah, uh, no, that's just a um That's pretty standard. Hang on. I'll take out these guys pretty quickly. Yes, yes, I have your attention. That was a miss. That's what I'm after. Getting those bullseyes. Smack him for a crit. Like that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, heck. That would have been dangerous. Is that a rusty broadsword? Oh, I can leave that behind. Construct bow, not the most useful. And we've got this. Flame emitter spear. It's a long uh, long stick with a flame emitter at the end. Um... <clears throat> nah, I think I'm good. I think I'm good for now. All right, so, were they guarding anything? Was it like a chest or something around you? No, nothing, nothing. Complete nothing. All right, well, I can see a Lizalfo up there. I don't want to mess with him. I want to go this way. Oh, remember, um, okay, so we only kind of briefly looked at it, but it said in the newspaper that there was uncharacteristically high amounts of snow. But if you notice, the weather, uh, the weather meter says it's only snowing. So it's kind of like, um, Zora Domain in Breath of the Wild. There we go. Oh, he's got it on attached to a shield. Huh. Oh, and that white chew jelly turned into a, a red chew jelly. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I think we're good though for uh temperature. Hey Kay, welcome to the stream. How you doing today? <clears throat> oh, 
look, there's a monster cave here. What was in there? Gets me every bloody time. <laughs> every time. Damn it. Okay. So it's not supposed to be easy. I was about to say it's not easy to climb up the ice, but okay, never mind. Um, it's not supposed to be easy to climb up the ice, but whatever. <clears throat> Don't think you've been in this cave yet. Oh, okay. I might be in for some, uh, some more nasties. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's bright bloom seeds. Okay. <clears throat> One thing I, while generally speaking, I don't want spoilers. One thing I'm more than happy with people telling me about. Oh, hello. Is if I'm about to walk into a cave with, um, hey, Bloopy. With, um, one of those moving glooms. <gasps> Take that. Because the last thing I want to do right now is to, to run into one of those. So if, you, if you're already aware that there's a mobile gloom, feel free to let me know. Oh, hello. You're a different color. Oh, nice. It's okay. It, it, it's okay, Mary. The froggies were evil. All right, okay. <clears throat> so Kay has only encountered two of the, um, the mobile glooms. We'll just call them that for now. <clears throat> I have encountered two as well. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> How'd you go up? You jump, obviously. Soldiers clay more spear. Nah, it's okay. You can keep that one. You can keep that one. Ooh, hello. Uh, let's see. What can we use? Oh, we could probably use that. Hmm. Definitely needs more of a, uh, a bonfire sort of affair. Do I have any wood? Yes, I do. That's not wood. There we go. Yeah, the the frog ate the bloopy. We're not allowed to allow the frogs to eat the bloopies. Bloopy bloopies are love. Bloopies are life. <laughs> the weird frogs are into crypto mining. It's morally okay to defeat them. <laughs> A feathered spear? No, I still don't want one. <laughs> oh well. So I get that and then we'll... Scarpa. I don't, there's nothing else in here, is there? 
Like, I'm sure for Kay, this cave is actually, you know, a gift from Hylia herself, because it's full of spears. But, like, for me, it's just, okay. <laughs> I saw that. A little sticky guy. I tend to just ascend up the top rather than run back. That's smart. That means I can then glide. And I get some better distance off things. That's smart. I should have thought of that. You have, it's not that you have good ideas sometimes, it's you have, like, really good ideas sometimes. <laughs> like, really good ideas. And, uh... I'm also very slow on the uptake. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got this ability now, I can do the thing. Oh, hello, there was a way out there. Nope. There we go. I wonder what's either side of me that makes it so that uh, this is the one and only spot I can lead through. Oh. Right. That. Okay. Yeah, fair. Well, I can see a shrine. So that's a good start. There's that little camp that I, you could see from the entranceway. You might go to the shrine first. No, it's a, actually, yeah, it's like a ridiculously good idea, and I'm kind of embarrassed that I didn't think of it before now. <laughs> Wait. I can hear the dragon song. Or I can't see the dragon. Oh! Oh no, that, that's... That's just the shrine. Wait, is that not the dragon song? Is that just the Hebrew mountain song? Oops. Oh my goodness. Wait, why is it just going straight through him? Alright. That's not the dragon song? No, I'm just a doofus? Okay, gotcha. There we go. That's a hit. That's two hits. Let's liven up this party. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, my frames! <laughs> my poor frames! Ooh, baked apple. Wait, is this the first time picking out baked apple? Righto. Alright, what did he have? Yeah, Fang. Ooh, Bosper Coblin Horn. That would make for a nice spear. Of course, I'm going to use it as a sword. Soldiers Claymore. Ah, I'm not a big fan of the Claymores, though. I, I'm not a big fan of the two-handed weapons in this in general. Oh, there's all my arrows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna need a bow. Bokka bow will work. For rock smashing, yeah, exactly. Actually, yeah, you got a good point there. 
Um, I believe this one that I'm currently using is one I picked up. But yeah, I do have a um, spiked iron ball hammer. Oh. All right. Okay. Yeah, you got my attention. I might drop the one I've got. Oh, it's a two-ended. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll still drop the one I've got. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a good one for smashing things. Shame about durability. Now, I think... Is that the tower that we're looking for? Nope, that's the one we've already got pinned. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess I'll just jump off you. What is that? Um, I don't suppose climbing it is going to be an option, but maybe a spring? Could I use a, um, oh, I see. <laughs> they provided me the means of my own destruction. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, right, okay. We're going to do that first, are we? Can you fuck her off? Oh, no! Ah, that's what I was trying to avoid. Okay. I'm not going to be able to take the arm though, am I? No. Okay. The arms have got really good damage output, but they are terrible when it comes to durability. They're probably the weakest. Okay, uh, shield. Okay. Oh, you... That's not what I wanted. There we go. So. <laughs> Let's go. Those rockets scare the crap out of me, just saying. The acceleration. Ooh, a Zonai shield. Yeah, I'll drop the one that I just used as a rocket attachment. I'll take the Zonai one. And then I will drop down. Whoa. Yeah. The rockets are really fun, but they're kind of scary, not gonna lie. It's just the sudden acceleration of, all right, uh, I guess I'm going to the moon now. I'd like to use them, use more of them in the future. Hopefully, when I get to do more exploring in the sky. A launching device. Well, this is where I get to learn about the, <laughs> the rockets, I guess. I've been using one wing, three fans, two rocket build to get some great distance. Oh, really? Okay. Right. Oh. Nice. Can't really go wrong with that one, can you? Uh, the one, when I was playing around with some of the devices, I was using... Uh, I had two fans. Uh, I attached the wheels to the bottom of a of a wing. <clears throat> I 
meant that you could land and take off anyway. It was pretty cool. Oh, I see where they're going with this. I've seen something like this on Mythbusters. It didn't go well for the car. Uh... Or I would say, but there's no... Rockets in here. I have to take this one? Oh wait, there's two. Did that respawn? Okay, I guess the rockets in this room respawn. Link. L Link, that's not helpful. One. Oh, that one didn't respawn. Or maybe it respawned when I actually hit the target. It'd be a little bit of a problem if you uh, run out of rockets and couldn't even get past the first room. <laughs> Uh, go with that and we'll stick that to the side there like that and um, pray good great oh crap okay didn't need to <laughs> lesson learned <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, ooh, okay. I think I'm going to need two for this, though. Because it's not on rails, it's not... I may even get this completely wrong, but I feel like this is what I need to do. And I'm probably going to need... Can I get it to sit straight? Probably not. Ah, oh, this is going to be jank. Okay. So... I want to attach one there. One on this side. Like that. Uh, maybe... Look, I'm just thinking for the sake of... Uh, for the sake of being safe, maybe one on the back. Pray for me. Probably didn't need the one on the back. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's pretty good. Yep. <laughs> I can get to grips with these. <laughs> They're still scary as all hell. It's like, as, as soon, as fun as they are, and I can pack them all onto a cart or something, as soon as I hit the trigger, I start panicking. <laughs> and there we go, we got our first shrine of, uh, of today's stream. So, okay. Ah, oh, right. Okay. So, I was looking at the road, and that, that road that goes from east to west, that's the road I was looking at when we were up on the, the floating rock. Well, yeah. And so, that means we just follow it now, and we're nearly there. Um, before I do, however... There's one other thing I want to take a look at. Oh, 
Ooh. Nat, please. I just can't do this. At least not with this cave. There's lots of other caves opened by the upheaval. Let's try a different one. This one is surely full of creatures different from anything we know. I was already itching to go home. Ah. Come on, little sis. You can do it. I mean, we traveled all this way. We need to gather those bright caps inside at least. That's what we came for, and you can find you can only find them in caves. We made it here safe and sound. I can't bear to leave until I have ten of them. Let's go in. Please, we've got to. Oh, that is a cave. I'm looking straight at the cave. Right, okay. Then go by yourself, Nat. Wait, what? No, we need to go together. Oh, that aroma. That soft light. Oh my goodness. She can smell them on me. Sup? Could it be that you have some bright caps? I really want bright caps, and ten of them would do the trick. Would you maybe give them to me? <laughs> don't give. I'd, that'd be better if the line was, I don't give. <laughs> Pay me. Alright, fine. Have the bright caps. Thank you. I don't expect them for nothing, so here, I'll trade you this. Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, spicy tomato mushroom stew, definitely. You're a lifesaver. Now I don't need to go into that awful cave. But I have to say, it's amazing that you collected so many bright caps. I mean, they're found only in caves like this. Yes, it is amazing. Ooh, you love a good cave, don't you? I, I, I just don't sound right. And so do I. They can all hold sorts of wonderful things, alluring things, valuable things. Like the gems and ore deposits, bright bloom seeds that illuminate the dark places, and bright caps, of course. So, you know, if you had enough of these bright caps, then maybe you could try, you know. Uh, -huh. uh Nat, you're not thinking about. That are you? And 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 him? Hang on, this is getting. Hang on a minute. No, hang on. Is this going to be safe for YouTube? <laughs> ah. I'd never. Not that. Mm. <laughs> Unless you know, maybe. <laughs> that's that's that is exactly the meme. It's like no, no. Unless. <laughs> Look, ladies, there's enough link to go around. <laughs> Two girls, one link. <laughs> right, we agree, I think. Oh dear, I don't know if I do yet. Uh, sorry, forget you heard anything about that. Sister secret. Excuse me! <laughs> Incest is wincest. Um, uh, but if we, if we meet again, it'd be fate, wouldn't it? Then we'd have to tell him. Uh, <clears throat> Whoa, Nat! This guy caught your eye. What? I'm. Uh, don't be ridiculous. That was just a thanks for the bright caps. But I will say, we're scouring high and low for something here in the Hebra region. We searched most of the south and now we intend to go to the north. If we meet again, we'll tell you that secret of ours. Well, see you. Oh. Hey, let's head out, Megan. M Meg hin Megan? Hmm, that's an interesting way of spelling it. See you around. Yeah, now I want to know too. They left. They, they completely left. Tent and all. I don't know what it was. I... Uh, mm. Not going 
gonna lie, that was kind of awkward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, steel barrel on a sword. Massive breakability. Wait, what was that? Hang on, hang on, what was that? Where is that? Oh, it's like just some weird rock formation. Well, time to get all my bright caps back. No, that would be too easy. Bomb flower. Oh, hello. Oh, you're one of those ones. Okay. Ah! All right, let's go. Come on, you Catholic monstrosity. Oh, that was my sword going. All right. What do we get? What do we get? Feathered spear. They're insistent on giving me spears. Like, seriously. The feathered spear is specifically a throwing spear, though. It, it, I believe it does more damage when thrown. Than what's written on the tin. Well, this place is interesting. Oh! Oh! I know this. I know. Uh, what's his name? Um... It's the... The dude who's, uh, hiding clothes everywhere. This is one of his little shrines. Haskin? I think his name's Haskin or something like that. Frostbite shirt, main, made for ancient rituals. This item's cold absorbing cloth produces frost in low temperature environments. Sorry, let me... Made for ancient rituals, this item's cold absorbing cloth produces frost in low temperature environments. So if I'm in cold weather, my attack damage goes up? That's interesting. Oh, and look at that. That, that is 100% Zonai. You got the Triforce icons everywhere and you've got that symbol on the front of the shirt. Very cool, okay. Seeing as I'm technically not in cold weather inside the cave, uh, I'm not getting bonuses from it, but I'm going to wear this. Is that where I came from? I think that's where I came from. Okay. Alright, well that's a good find. Same laws, female fantasy out. Ah, yeah, true. Of course, it would work for Link, wouldn't it? <laughs> I can hear another frog. Yeah, I remember the 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 old um, meme image. It was a uh, a woman wearing a, a chainmail bikini that was. Practically completely well 
Not practically, it actually was completely see-through. And um, it said chainmail bikinis, where it lacks in defense and makes up for in distraction. And like, yeah, fair. Okay, so there's a frog thing up here. There it is. Release the bloopy. Thank you. <laughs> Less is more, yeah. There was actually, uh, what was I? I think it was in a Josh Strife Hayes video where he was, uh, he'd picked up a female, ar it wasn't actually a female armor, it was just a male armor. Um, and it was a tattoo, a full body tattoo. And it, it actually said as a part of the description, um, that if you wear clothes with it, it reduces the defense because the tattoo must be um, open to sunlight. I can't remember what the what the game was, but yeah, they they, they got their excuses down pat right there. <laughs> All right, so we'll do this the K way, and we'll just burst through the ceiling. There's a way out. Oh. Wild berries. Not entirely sure where I am, but, um... Oh, hello. Oh, I love those. I almost had him. Okay, so Liz Elfo horns are really, really good for making swords. A rock boomerang. Okay, yeah, no, it's fine. He threw his stick at me. He threw his bloody stick at me. Uh, thankfully, I can pick up those arrows. Uh, wait, where am I? I'm going the wrong direction. I came out of the cave going in the wrong direction. Okay. Um, let me just quickly... So that's a soldier's broadsword. Broadsword. All right. Um. Then I'm gonna grab uh, most used sonar devices by type. Fuse power. <sighs> oh, do you know what? I might use one of those instead. Drop that. That that'll work for a sword as well. Fuse. Catch to the broadsword. Ah, yeah. I think that'll work. Uh, do I have another one? I do. I have another soldier's broadsword. And I will... Drop that. There we go. Yeah, so I'll, I'll um... I'll use this one. Because this is the weaker one. Oh, I also want to change that uh, shield out. Just put a regular shield.
Actually, uh, now that I think about it, I probably could have done something with the halberd that I have as well. I do have a pretty good halberd. So what can I put on on that then? Blue horribly horn. That's a that's a hammer though. I don't know how well that would work. Yeah, no, nah, we'll leave that for now. We'll leave that one for now. We'll do something with it later. Wait. Uh, that one. I've got a bad habit of forgetting to combat fuse weapons. I mostly utility fuse them. Yeah, I think I'm probably the other way around. I'm fully aware of what I want to use for combat. And then when I need a hammer, I'm just like, oh, by God, I don't have a hammer. It's always the worst timing as well. Like, I've got a ton of broadswords or what have you, and I've actually managed to fuse a lot of good weapons, and I realize, oh, no, now I'm going to have to dump one to make a hammer. Ooh, look where it is. Shh. Tracy's our editor here. Is getting ready for our big Princess Zelda investigation. You're here about our newspaper, right? Then you could talk to me too. I'm in I'm next in charge. Oh, wait a minute, it's you. I gotta say, you did a good job getting out here to find us. It's quite a hike from them lo from Lookout Landing when you haven't got wings, but here you are. Was it easy to find the place? Some folks passed by without a second look. After all, it was a stable until Tracy cheated the previous owners of it. What? <laughs> cheated the previous owners out of it? Oh, but you don't miss a thing, do you? Not bad. Not bad at all. I assume you came for the job. You want to work for the newspaper, right? I'll vouch for you with Tracy. Just picture it, traveling the world as a reporter, shining light on the truth. We'll be partners out there. Hey, quiet. Don't you listen, Pen? I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. And another thing. I bought this place from the owner after we came to a fair, mutually beneficial agreement. Could you stop telling people I cheated him out of it? I... Uh, sorry, Tracy, but there's a new applicant for the, the reporter job. I wanted you to know. A new applicant? Yo, hi. Hmm. Hang on. You look like... Uh, ah! L hey. Sorry, Pen, but could you give me and this guy a second here? Tracy, who's Tracy? Ah. Tracy's not the mental girl with the with the flowers, is? No, no, that wasn't Tracy. All right, how about you give me the whole story, Link? Who are you? I know she has to be a character from Breath of the Wild, but who is she? I, I, it's gonna bother me. I'm gonna... I'm gonna Google. I'm gonna Google. It's happening. It's happening live. I don't care. B-O-T-W... That's a hash. Let's try that one again. B-O-T-W... Tracy. Tracy. Tracy is a highly investigative journalist who can be found researching her next story in Gerudo Town. She's the author of The Rumor Mill, which she claims is Hyrule's leading news publication. Tracy traveled to Gerudo Town after hearing the town's recent troubles and even hints at her own experience with the divine beast Varna Boris. Link can first encounter Tracy while she is speaking with Gerudo guard Ploka. Cloaker is denying Tracy access to the Gerudo Town Palace. 
though Tracy vows to keep trying. If Link speaks to Tracy, she tells him she is busy gathering. I remember her now. Yes, when we went into... When we went into Gerudo Town in Breath of the Wild, they were having an argument, and when I talked to her, I was just like, oh, okay, whatever, and then carried on through. I didn't actually end up doing her quest line. Well, I do like how this game reuses characters from uh, Breath of the Wild. Meg, oh yeah, yeah, they all were. That's the thing. She did the. Pretty sure the flower girl was called Mavis or something. Magda. Yay, yeah, Magda. That's right. Okay. See, this is really interesting because there are a lot of characters that you may not have encountered. There's, there's not like a huge amount of side quests. We're not, we're not talking Fallout or Skyrim levels of side questing in Breath of the Wild. But though th th these characters which you've encountered coming up again really gives the world a sense of continuity, especially if they're not just being randomly placed. Tracy being the, the lead or the, the, the editor of um, the newspaper now, when she was previously the, the one who did the rumor mill, that's outstanding. That's like really good storytelling and good continuity keeping between games. It shows that the, it's not just you, but the whole world has progressed. And that's, that's like really well done to actually be able to find a use for all these characters. All right, how about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette here, if you couldn't tell. So don't worry. I know everyone involved with this story. Pura asked us to help dig, uh, asked us for help digging into what happened to Princess Zelda. Now, tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? Pura. Uh. Interesting. So that's why she asked you to investigate the places previously impacted by the upheaval. Uh. Well, coming here was a great call. What I mean is, we're getting tips from all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's hard to keep up. And among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like the princess appearing all over in all sorts of places. Ah. I was about to assign Penn to chase those leads, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Penn who you are. It's better if no one knows you're involved. What do you say? Think you could work for him, uh, with him as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do this for free, though that'd be nice. Just wait a second. I'm going to get you a little incentive from the back. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Those look like they've got uh, frog feet. Maybe they're sticky? It's froggy armor. It's literally just called froggy armor. Okay, cool. With that on, it's easy to cling to wet surfaces, no slipping. So it is a new kind of climbing armor. You work with Pen to chase down all these new stories, then I'll give you this armor piece by piece. All yours. <sighs> Ooh, a pretty good deal there, Link. Anyway, that's my offer. She just got me to work for her for free, didn't she? Pen, you can come back in. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh. Starting now, this guy's your partner. Huh. Well, if our editor here says you're in, then looks like I had you sized up right. Tracy knows how to pick them. Huh. All right, you two. Here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads. Pen, You'll head this all up. Stables bring in people and people bring details. And details are what we need. Now, get me some news. Oh, 
Okay. So they want me to go to the stables to get information on Zelda. He puts on a pretty confident act, but Penn is still a rookie reporter. There's a number, number of things that he hasn't got a handle on yet, so take good care of him. Wow. Remember, where there's a crowd, there are rumors, and where there are rumors, there might be leads to the princess. Canvas the stables and see where you can find out. Alright. Okay, Kay, you have a good one. Stay safe, and maybe catch you later. Guess it's time to collect some wood. No kindling shortcuts. My Hylian pinecone mishap taught me that. Gotta do the work and chop down the trees, hmm? Oh, welcome. This is Rito Stable. No, it's not. It's the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm sorry, old habits die hard. Harder than the stables do, clearly. <clears throat> I just do odd jobs, so if you have business with the Lucky Clover Gazette, please ask someone inside. Perhaps due to the abnormal weather, there's been an explosive increase in Hylian pine cones. Yeah, I did notice that, that there wasn't any pine cones in the previous game. They're very oily on the inside and burn really well. Too well, in fact. I tried tossing one to do a fire for kindling and it went up so violently it created a whirlwind. Really. Which in turn sent all of the freshly printed newspapers flying far, far away. I was supposed to be helping with the Lucky Gazette, and that was very much the opposite of help. If you find a Hylian Pinecone of your own, whatever you do, don't throw it in that fire. Don't throw it specifically in this here fire. Don't throw a Hylian Pinecone into this here fire. Definitely do not throw a Hylian pine cone into this fire. Whoa! I see! Well, that's one way to get up. Uh, looks like the bridge is down for. Oh, that's, that's what you're supposed to use. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I get it. I see where they're going with this. Notice that there's a, uh, there's a bonfire over here as well. Campfire thing. Yep. <laughs> that's how you get to Rito Village. What's that? Is that a pot lid? That looks like a pot lid. I get the flint, though. And the pine cone. Uh, ooh, do we need to do any cooking? I think I'm good. Still. Oh, I got plenty. Uh, let's do one of those. rather have Rivali's Gale back. I mean, it's not as good as Rivali's Gale, but there is a, um, um, there, there is the spring. The spring is pretty good. Link is a menace. Link is absolutely a menace. So using the spring is also useful, but, oh, wait. Ooh, should I go to the tower first? Hold on. Where am I? I think I want to go do the tower first. Can I pick this? Can I pick this? No, I can't. Okay, so. We'll go this way. Oh, 
uh, I wore myself out, apparently. Okay. Yeah, I think I want to do the tower first, just so that I know, um, so I can see the area, you know? And yes, sorry, I was wrong, Kiko. Uh, they are orange, but they're not, the orange isn't very visible on the, on the, um, when you're looking for them. It's not like it was in Breath of the Wild, where you could see these bright glowing orange pillars everywhere. It's more the the white lights that you're looking for. But they are actually, yes, still orange. That's a... I know that. I know what to do there. It's near about time I should be turning some of those in for more, uh, more slots. There's a blue one there as well. Okay. Um. Bomb flower? Bomb flower. There's a bomb flower. That is called a miss. I aimed way too low for that. Okay, you know what? Forget it. I'm just wasting bombs. There we go. All right, we'll take the blue one on mano a mano. Oh, he's only got a rock? Oh, no, he doesn't only has a rock. He can headbutt me. I forgot they can do that now. Oh, I saw that. My armor did a flurry of, of ice coming out of it. That was interesting. You can build in this game. Yes, you can. You can use all kinds of parts to make interesting things. I don't want the wooden stick. Soldier's bow. I do want a soldier's bow. Hang on. Uh, I could drop that one, seeing as that one's about to be broken. Uh, let's use the hammer to break that down. Definitely not having as much issues finding... Um, arrows in this game as we did in Breath of the Wild. Like, I was completely arrow starved in Breath of the Wild. Lizal Reaper. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like the one which I've already got here. Uh, that's using a Traveler's Sword, though. Uh, I might uh, just drop that one. I don't really care for the spears. Okay. Sorry, let me uh, catch up with the chat right there as I'm running along this, uh, this route. Um... Actually, what's the armor score of a fancy new shirt? That's a really good question. I didn't even think to check. Two. It's actually slightly weaker than the standard clothing. But it does give cold resistance, 
and it does give a cold weather attack bonus. Um, let me just switch over to this because that's the cold weather attack. How cool is that? I like that. Does it apply to the spin attack as well? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, you know what? I like that. <laughs> I'm good with that. Are they sure they only want to give me a minus one for defense? Like, I'm... I'm happy to take no defense, because <laughs> that's epic. What's happening over here? What is that stuff? We found these strange things at the foot of Hebrew Mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? I know what they are. I've done every test I can think of, but I haven't learned anything. Not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is... They're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. It'd probably hurt if you got hit with one, huh? Well, I've got all I'm going to get out of these things. If you want them, for some reason, they're all yours. Nice. I'll take those. Uh, I'll take the wood and the flint as well. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hi there. Are you here because you spotted the bonfires? The fires are lit. Rito calls for aid. The blizzard makes it hard to see where you're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. Though as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlight set up around that fancy sky view tower. Yeah, that's where I'm aiming. Mm -hmm. It won't warm you up like a bonfire will, but it's hard to beat it for size and sheer brightness. Oh. The Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Alright. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I think this is the way I'm going. Up. That That sentence came out really weird. Hebrew Mountains Climbing Path. Yeah, okay, so this is a... This is a little bit easier than trying to find a way up. Neck minute. <laughs> oh, actually, you're right. I haven't encountered the fairies yet. There's another Rito. Oh, yeah. You know what? I just realized, yeah, I have not seen... I've not even heard about the Great Fairies so far in this game. Look at this thing. What is the world coming to when something like this can just fall from the sky? On top of which... The blizzard shows no sign of abating, so be careful when you travel these mountains. Yeah. Yeah, fair. Oh, there's that, uh... There's that storm. We're getting ever closer there. And there's a shrine on top of the hill, too. That's the wrong button. Let's have a look. Where'd the shrine go? There it is. Uh... Ah, close enough. Um... Or brambles around you. Wait a second. Ah, oh, no. Never mind. I thought that was a, um... Uh, bright bloom seed. But, no. Kind of looks like the, the flower, but... It's not. A cave-in? You've got to be kidding me. How am I supposed to get inside now? Well, take a gander for yourself. Yeah. 
the entrance to the cave is completely blocked off. Your feet is sunk in the snow. I was hauling food out of there when the entrance collapsed. Now what do I do? I should have picked a bomb flower, or some bomb flowers from the other cave. Could have used them to blow these rocks away. What foul luck. I hate to leave all that food behind, but maybe I just need to call today a wash and come back tomorrow. Alternatively. Uh, Link. Really? Oh no, my hammer's damaged. Uh, wait, how d deep is this? Maybe I should use bombs. I'll do it. Um. Um, I don't. Nah, I'll use that. It's fine. I get the feeling that there's more cave up that way. Um, I was wrong. But there are rusty claymores, which means... Rospro Pass Cave. Okay. I can do... Hang on a minute. Yep. I'll do that. So I got myself a second hammer. Actually, this will be my primary hammer. I don't want to break the other one. The other one can be used as a weapon. Ooh, hello. Okay, there's some, uh... I'll chat with this guy, see if he... goes in or something. Whoa, look at the cave! <laughs> hey, those rocks didn't know what hit them. You're amazing! Now I can bring some supplies back to the village. Thank you so much! Oh, right. I need to reward you somehow, don't I? Here, take this. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Oh, I will absolutely Aww. consider it a token of gratitude. All right. I'm going to check if that food is still good. Thank you for opening the path for me. Right. Now, let's see what's actually in the cave. The food seems safe. Okay. Ah. Thanks for helping to keep our food supplies intact. I'll deliver them to the village as soon as I've packed them up. Alright, I'm not going to break that one. I'm not going to be that much of a menace. <laughs> I feel like I could be, though. There's some bright... Oh, look, more cave. Ooh. <gasps> Frog. Wow, there's a lot of uh, bright bloom stuff in here. Hmm. Ooh, cave fish and a bomb. Oh, chillfin trout. Oh, okay. I didn't recognize it. I just saw there were other fish in there. And I was like, hmm, I'm gonna gonna have those for dinner. Uh, ooh. Wait, there's there's more cave. Oh no, that's the way out. Okay, never mind. Is there any more cave? What's this way? 
There's a sticky lizard up there. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else in here. But... If I leave the K-way... Then I'll be closer to the tower. I am actually above the tower. Oh, hello. Hang on. That's a that's a, a snowy one. If I hit him with a fire arrow. Get. He'll just burst like that. Ice breath Lizalfo horn. I can make an ice sword. That's That's kind of epic. I can make an ice sword. Oh yeah, I'm down for that. I'm 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 a hundred percent down for that. I I don't have the means at the moment, but um when I get hold of a good sword base, I'm definitely making a nice sword. Oh hello. More of those brambles everywhere. Wow, that's a lot of brambles. Oh, the whole thing is going to go up in flames now. <laughs> Oop, there it goes. Only you can prevent Sheikah Tower fires. <clears throat> but I don't want to. There we go. Tower done. I get the feeling that something is going to happen when I uh, use this. Because I know directly above me is that storm cloud. Well, there's that shrine. What else is up here? Okay, so we're not going quite as high as the storm cloud, it seems. Oh, there's another shrine. Kiko says, I love how Link doesn't emote at all anymore when the struggle snuggle arms come out. I know, right? This is... Okay. I accept it. I accept my fate. <laughs> Surface map updated. Ooh, that cloud is huge. I didn't realize how big it was from the distance we were at. Wow. Okay, so, I've got that one. Hang on. I want to go to the Sky Archipelago first. Yeah. Ow. There's something moving around over there. Oh. Okay. That that looks dangerous. Um <clears throat> Is 
So there's the shrine. Actually, let me take a look at the map. That's the shrine we just found. So we're going to put a shrine mark there. Wasn't there another one, though? Didn't we see another one? Is it? Oh, heck. That looks like a Gleok. Or it's a snowy Gleok. You can tell because it's been terrestrialized. Okay, um, hmm. I don't think I want to be going fighting a Gleok. Not right now. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing that shrine, though, that I passed. Isn't it up, like, that way somewhere? Can't see it, though. Alright, uh, we're gonna jump across to this one here. Missed. Uh, okay. Ah, I think I... Ah, oh, I think I lost some arrows over the edge. There's a shrine. Okay, we'll tag that one on the map. Yeah, that thing looks like one of those uh, Gleox, definitely. Where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, it's got the three heads. It's a big flying dragon thing. Robom. Oh, the, 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 um, not guardians. I almost call them guard. I always call them guardians. Um, constructs. That's the word. Well, it's a word. Sky shrooms, some arrows. Uh, doesn't appear to be much up. Here. On that island, though, has the, uh, yeah, has that robo man. Hold on, there's a balloon attached to that one. Interesting. Not sure how I would use that. Uh, Alright, I need to see what's up there then. Uh, that's, um, it's pretty high. Could probably still make it though. I hear construct, and I think more like a D&D golem. That's ah, pretty much the same thing when you think about it. Oh, there's a shrine up here, too. Oh, I don't want to fight the Robo-Man. <laughs> Wait, how do these work then? Oh! Oh, it's got a, um... I see. I didn't realize it already had a, um... A flame in it. A flame thingy in it. Okay. 
All right, I think I'm I think I'm understanding some things now. Like how to get around up here. Ah. Cuz I've used the I've used the balloons before. Uh the Impa quest uses the balloons. But it didn't actually have one of those uh flamethrowers on it. So I didn't notice that there was a flamethrower there this time. Yeah, there's that dude walking around. Definitely, uh... Definitely strange looking. Uh, is there anywhere higher than... Oh, the shrine is higher than this. Okay. So let's uh, go get that shrine then. Hmm. Oh, there's gacha up here as well. Uh, I think I might want to go a little bit higher, though. Oh, do I have to wait for it to fully recharge? Okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to hit it. Get up a little bit higher. There we go. Okay, so this is a launcher. Where's that launching me, though? Over there somewhere. Hmm. So, let's get some gacha going. Do we get anything new? Oh, I got a rocket. I haven't had the rockets before. A time bomb. Portable pot, flame emitter. Okay, that's all good stuff. We'll get another we'll get another load of that. Yeah, those rockets are going to be really useful for getting around up here. <clears throat> okay, so... I'm guessing that this shrine is going to be similar to another shrine that I've already done. Uh, in, in my game. Oh, maybe not. No, it's just a shrine. Okay. I figured this one was going to be like a puzzle to go and collect something and bring it back. Apparently not. Look at that one, though. That big island on the bottom left there. Oh, hello. More than defense. Okay. Maybe it's got something to do with shields? Oh, heck. Okay. Um. No, go away. Go away. Link, could you please turn around?
Okay, flame emitter shield. Which I can't use. I do have one though, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay. So... No. That one. Ah, yeah, that, that, yeah, that's, that's significantly faster than using. Interesting. I wonder if I can use those shards to make weapons as well. You say more than defense, but they're doing a good job at the defense. What's that? Rusty broadsword? Not gonna use that. Stone slab shield. Oh, does the stone slab... I suppose it would stop the... It would stop the, um... The fire, wouldn't it? Kind of like how we used the metal box in Breath of the Wild to try to stop the fire. <laughs> Alright, um... I'm gonna have to drop that, aren't I? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> don't really want to waste this shield. Ah, yeah? So... Drop that. Pick up my flame emitter again. What did he pick up? A rocket? He's gonna whack me with a rocket? I don't think so. I'll take his horn though. Um. Okay. Um. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to waste that uh, flame emitter though. There you go! Easy. It's amazing what these new abilities, though, can really do to make... I mean, anytime you add a new mechanic, it really massively increases the capabilities of what you can do for puzzles, but... All of these new additions, all of the um, devices and these new combining abilities they just keep making really cool shrine puzzles from them and really makes it worth doing not just for the for the lights and everything but for for actually just seeing the puzzles and getting uh some really good zelda puzzles in I think that was one of my biggest complaints about Breath of the Wild was the shrines were just so... I suppose they, they're very uninspired in a way. But these ones seem a lot better. And a lot of them are, are very different from each other too. Okay, so what's up here then? Right. Am I going to be able to melt this, perhaps? Yeah. Oh! Why, yes. Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay. a shrine here. A shrine. A chest. Oh, it's a bloom. Okay. 
Okay. There's another one. A flame emitter. Okay, so they... they they're kind of telling me what to do here. <laughs> um, I need one of those stone... Oh, wait, no, I don't need one of those stone pieces, though. I can make a... This is going to be janky as all hell if I use that, so I think I will... Look around, see if there's one of those, um... Floating stone pieces around. Oh, I'm going to have to make something really janky, aren't I? I'm going to have to make something really, really janky. Oh, no. Oh, hello. All right, Zelda, do your worst. <laughs> Blood Moon says no to your jank. Yeah, I'm going to wait until it's over because I don't want to interrupt me doing stuff. In the meantime, I'm going to have some chocolate. Mm. Oh, you can skip it. I thought Kay was saying in the, um, in Gilded that you couldn't skip it. Okay, let's have a look. What can we do? So, we're going to take this piece of wood here. And we're going to... Yeah, we're just going to place it there. Oh, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Um, We're going to... Uh, we need a balloon. And we're going to need one of these. Oh, no, not, not two. Just one. There we go. Okay, then we're going to attach this there. And we're going to put this wrong direction. Let's try that again. Like that. Come on, there we go. Attached to there. Okay. So now we've got a really, really janky balloon. Okay. That I'm a little bit scared of, not gonna lie. There goes nothing. Hang on. This better be worth it. Oh, there's a chest up here. An old map. A very old map that shows a marked spot. What could be there? That's a really good question. The location shown in the old map has been marked on your map. It's somewhere in the depths? We must not have been there. We went from here 
to there, to there, and then back across this way. We completely missed this location, but there's a... The map is telling us to go here. Very interesting. Okay. I wasn't expecting to find maps. Well, that's something to look for. Um, now I'm going to, uh, save. The gloom monsters, yeah, they are. Okay. I'm going to have a try at this guy. I mean, why not? I want to try to avoid the Gliok, however. Interesting. I want to fight this guy. I want to see how strong they are. Flux Construct 1. Oh, so it's going to be a weaker one. I would assume. Okay, so that's... Oh! Criminy! Right. That is its weak spot. Okay. So it's kind of like fighting a talus, but it's... Oh, okay, 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 okay. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I understand. Completely on board with what you're throwing at me. I, I, I get it. I, I, I really do. Uh... Uh, using the right bow for this. Uh, I'm going to switch back. No, it doesn't, isn't going to matter because it's going to be two hits and I'm going to be down anyway. So I'm not going to switch back. This one gives me an attack bonus. Whoa, what the heck just happened to it? Oh, that chest came off it. Yep. It's turned into a Rubik's Cube. Another map? Right, okay. Fell apart. Oh no. Oh, come on. Nice. What is this? Hang on. We're gonna wait. We're gonna get everything else first. What is that? Is that something I can... Is this something I can attach? I don't have anything I want to attach it to, though. <laughs> um... I can... I can break that one down. Yeah, I could break that one down. It's, um... 
Yeah, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's literally just attached to the tip. Oh, I thought the whole thing was going to be a... Be that. Okay. Interesting. Well, that's the strongest weapon I've got so far. Ah, uh, in this playthrough at least. I'll still use the weak one. For now. But, yeah. Alright, I think I've done everything now on these islands. There's this one over here that I'm interested in. Uh, is it? It's uh, this way. Because this is the second flower shaped island that I've encountered. Or oh, is it above me? Probably is above me. It's probably a long way above me. Because <clears throat> there's this little one here. But there's also... Uh, where is it? Central Hyrule. There's this one, and it's white. It looks the same. But, I don't know, I think the... The, the, the white... Uh, how white it is, is based on how high it is. Because, look, these are the ones that are lower down, but that's uh, much higher. And these are much higher. So it's white. Which means... Look at that one, it's got a bridge. Weird. Which means that this one should be lower. Oh, is that it? That's it. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, I don't think I could get there, though. Wait, 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 wait. I can, I can get there. Hold on. Okay, I have no idea how good this is going to be, but look at this. This these things over here, it's a balloon, but it's also rockets. I wonder if that's what it's for. Hmm. Would I reach though? That's the real question. Wrong, wrong, uh, ability. Um. Actually, if I use this one to go up, I have rockets in my, <laughs> I have rockets in my pocket. Um. Okay, I have seven rockets there. I also have a glider. Right, okay. I'm going to use this to get up higher. Okay. I wonder if I can get over to that lotus-shaped island now. Oh, wait! I have a launcher! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So if I go, if I aim this... Looks about right, doesn't it? Nope, nope, Link, stop, 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 stop.
I'll see I'll, I'll run along this path and see if the lotus is directly in line with the path. That way I'll be able to see. Uh, I can't even see it now. Oh, because it's... Uh... Okay, so it's not in line with the path. Oh, no, I can see that now on my map. Yeah. Okay. So I want to line this up. Yeah. Okay, so I need to line up this thing with the red dot. Then I want to get a wing out. A little bit more this way. That looks about right. If I... Oh, I can't see. If I get up on top of here... Can I see the red? I can't. Alright, so what I want to do then is per wing down... And maybe put some fans on it. The problem is I don't have anything to guide the wing. So... Let's have a look. Okay. Okay. Like that. Right. And we're going to put this one on this side. There. We're going to put this one on this side. There. Um... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop this down on this platform and then get on it. And hopefully that won't happen. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> right, okay, I need to put a third fan on it. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my wing. Wait, it's, it's probably... Hoping it would hit the Gliok on the head. Um, okay. Take two. <laughs> okay. Wait, no, wait, 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 oh, uh, wait, hang on. I only need one. Oh, that's a waste of a fan, no. Uh, I'll just drop this here for now, right? We we'll see how this goes, okay? Nope, that's wrong. Shut up. Okay. Um, it's alright. I've got a lot of these. <laughs> I, c I could try putting uh, rockets on it, actually. I could put rockets on it. Hang on. Hang on. I I'm, having, I'm having brain thinks at the moment. Hang on. If I took this over there and just put rockets on it, would I be able to get the sort of thrust and direction I'm looking for? Okay, I may have lost two wings, but that doesn't 
mean I'm going to lose a third. Okay, so it's over that way. Okay. So if I, like, face it that direction, like that. Okay. I, all right, all right, hang on, hang on. Um, if I go, I have seven rockets, so I can only screw this up three times. Two of those. I'm gonna put one on this wing, like that, and one on this wing, also pointing forward, please, like that, and now I can just hit the damn thing, and it appears to be working. There we go. Bye, wing. All right. I made it. <laughs> What's this? It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. Yeah. Sounds about right. Okay, um, I'm gonna need a book. And the book I need is called the Book of Mudora. I, I am absolutely certain now that it's the Book of Mudora. More than I have been already. Okay, so now I just want to get... Try to get back to, uh... Rito. I'm getting awfully close to that giant dragon thing. Okay, uh, we're gonna go this way. I wish I still had my wing. Oh, I'm not going to get very far like this. I am deep in the Hebra Mountains now. Okay. Well, we got another shrine at least. And we got a couple of um, maps to look at. I was planning on going down into the underground at some point tonight, but now I actually have a reason to do it. Now it's just a case of uh, getting back to where we were. What capsule stuff do I have? Uh, at the moment I've got 17 fans, 14 wings, 19 pots, 21 flamethrowers, 5 rockets, and 8 time bombs. Not really sure how the time bombs work. Um, don't want to find out the hard way either. I suspect it's a simple case of... You whack it and run away. Hey, Waggy Pants, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Uh, we'll go that way. Nope, not gonna make it. Okay. There we go.
Link, I'm 19 and I've never learned to read. Um, <laughs> I mean, he has a good excuse this time. I'm about to run out of stamina. Fantastic. Oh, it wasn't enough. Oh, I survived. Okay, I didn't die. I didn't die. It's all good. Um, alright. Well, we're gonna have to go around rather than up, it seems. Yeah, around works. Come on, I should be able to run on this. Oh, I'm doing pretty good, Waggy. Actually, enjoying uh, exploring in uh, Tears of the Kingdom. This is uh, there's some interesting things to find out there. Some of those sky islands are really cool. I'm currently trying to get back to Rito Village. And, um... I'm doing it the long way rather than just fast traveling, just in case there's anything I can encounter along the way. That was terrifying. I want to see if there's any, like, um, more shrines or maybe encounter some Koroks or something along the way. That's the thing about fast travel. It's it's useful it, when it's there and you can use it and, you know, get around easily. But using it means that you miss so much. I'm glad that with this one, with uh, Tears of the Kingdom, I'm not on a time frame like I was with Breath of the Wild. So I can take my time and... Um... Do I have that one? I can take my time and look around. Oh, right, okay. No, I don't have that one marked. Ooh, hello. I know where I am. This is where you do the target practice. Yeah, the flight range. Playing some over the weekend. Enjoy it so far? Or, if it isn't Link. I am glad to see you are safe and looking so well. As you may have heard, I retired from my position as elder and entrusted the village to Teba's leadership. Now I spend my days here at the flight range, helping mold the next generation of Rito warriors. I may look like an old fossil now. I'm older than you, for I was quite the warrior in my day. I would have bested even Teba. Not so anymore, though. <laughs> Unfortunately, the equipment here has been damaged by the blizzard. I would like to install new training devices, but there's no telling when I'll be able to actually do so. This is a meaningful place for the Rito. I feel a duty to protect it. That said, the most these old bones can really manage is to prevent the flight range from being buried in snow. That is why I have kept this fire going. Yeah, you, know, you can put a pine cone on it. Just, just say. <gasps> okay, this is a swallow bow. I'm not going to take it, but. Ooh. We need one of those to make Ravali's bow. Put a pine cone on it. <laughs> I 
let's see. Oh, that way. Sorry, I got distracted by something for a moment. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to the screen. Oh, hello. My bow is about to break. Well, that was crap. Mm, oh, I don't need to use the... Hey! I on being attacked by a fly. Nope. Ow. Who's got the bow? Oh. Oh, he's got a Zonite sword. Hmm. And a Zonite flame emitter shield. Okay. I'm going to drop that. I'm going to pick up the Zonite sword. I am going to... Drop this. Pick up the Zonite flame emitter. Oh, hello. They'll have... Uh, I'll have some use of these. That one! Damn it. Oh! Moblins have attacked as well. I really do like that ability. Okay, what have you got? What have you got that allows you to do such fancy things with wind? Could you hit a little less hard? Just saying. What has he got? Not only does he send me flying, but he's also got some sort of uh, extra knockback. A feathered edge. Oh, okay. That's an interesting weapon, to say the least. Uh, Traveler's sword, that's too weak. Uh, well, rusty broadsword. Nah. There's another one right there. Hmm. Holy moly. Do I not have a shield? Do I not have a shield equipped? I do not have a shield equipped. That's the problem. I was wondering why he was just chopping straight through my bloody shield. Well, at least the uh, problem solved, I guess. Oh, there's a few of them now. Crap. I thought I got all of them with the, with the freeze. I must have missed one. Oh, is this going to start me right all the way at the top of the bloody map again? No. Okay, good. Wait, where am I? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. They're still alive. <laughs> I haven't killed them yet. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, no. off it yeah the ice aoe is really useful i don't know why it missed that one moblin though that was i don't know i felt like that was a bit nonsense there Right, so I'm get the guy in the middle frozen. The guy with the shield is just plain annoying. Yeah, that's that's just Ah, uh, oh my goodness. Oh, come on. That item is just, like, really OP. Uh, let's see. I've got one of these. It's only worth two. Ah, it's a lot of moblins. Oh, they got soldiers' broadswords. No wonder they do so much damage. That's a traveler's sword. Okay. Doing better this time. Wait, it's the first time I've encountered Bacoblin Guts? Really? Okay. Fair enough. I've killed plenty of those Bacoblins before. <laughs> I saw an arrow blowing away. Hang on, come back. Okay. Um, a hammer. That's a hammer. Uh, a single wild berry. Yep. That's what we need to be using those giant boxes for. Single wild berries. Alright, there's still some constructs, I believe. They, or did they all died? No, there's still constructs here. I don't know what they're doing, though. Oh, they're getting messed up by a single moblin. 
Oh, it's the one that's got the the feather edge. Oh, uh, that was the wrong direction, but whatever. Uh, soldier's shield. Ah, it's a... There's a bleeding fly in you. Uh, let's have a little look-see. I am going to probably drop the spear. Uh, do I want a Zonite sword? Not especially. I don't want the wooden stick either. <laughs> no, I want to get that soldier's broadsword that one of the moblins dropped. Where is it? What? Wait. Where's the broadsword gone? Oh, it's over there. That's the traveler's sword. No, soldier's broadsword. Where's the soldier's broadsword go? Is that it? That looks like it. That looks like the one. We got it. Uh, zone eye stuff. Rusty broadsword. Don't need that. All right. Hang on. Let's have a look what we got here. So we got this feathered edge. It's got a wind attack, which is interesting. Um, and we've got a soldier's broadsword, which I could probably attach something to. What we got that's a shield, shield, stick. Is that arrow? Brilliant. Okay, so let's have a little look. What can we add to this? Oh, we could make that, could make that ice sword. I don't know how useful it would be. It'd probably break pretty quickly. Uh, maybe do another Lizalfo one because that's pretty decent. Yeah, I'll I'll keep that until I've got something better to attach to it. So I'll drop that one. Um, that's got a quick charge, so that will, um, I can do my spin attack quickly on that. Interesting. There you go. Right, is anything about to break? No? Cool. I'm gonna use this one. And with that, uh, I'm just gonna do one last... Thing. Uh, I can't reach it. Okay. Uh, it's a little annoying. Fire fruit. It still takes two for that little puddle. And there's nothing in there. Cool. That was a waste. Let's break these open. Uh, one wild berry. Fantastic. That's what we're talking about. Absolutely. One wild berry. Hylian shroom. An arrow that is now escaping. Okay. Alright. That'll do. I suppose. Oh, right. Yes. Okay. I know where we are. Oh, it's you. It's you again. All right. Hang on. Let's see. Let's have a little look. What can we do for this guy this time? I think... I think the same as the first one. We can just put uh, this one... Oops, I fell down. Uh, we'll take that. 
put that there. That's, that seems sturdy enough. And we'll grab one of these. And we'll prop it up on end. And we'll put that there. Uh, maybe we need to rotate it a little bit. Like that. That looks good. I'll do it. Oh, it, it, it's you. Thanks, thanks for the help earlier. I am putting Preston Hudson here too. I've eaten a special rice ball I made. This cold weather won't get to me. Right, I can stand here forever. I've, uh, I can't, sorry, I can't stand here forever. I mean, I could, but I really don't want to. I've, I've, I've got so many more signs to spread around. I, I don't know what to do. What? Are you going to support him? All, all right, I'll let go. Perfect. Perfect. Dude's in dire need of a sweat and a bowl of soup. The dude's in dire need of being able to touch the grass around his feet because he worships that guy on the sign. How's the president standing? It's not the president, it's a sign. That was brilliant. I'd never have thought of it. That's because your brain doesn't go all the way to the top of your hair, does it? All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. There we go. Sorted. Perfect. He loves his Oshi. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well. Dude, it's a sign. Take this with my thanks. Okay, yeah, I'll take I'll take the red ruby. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. Also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Yes. Let me give you a little something I made myself. Ooh, that's another weather attack plus damage. That looks pretty cool. I, 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 can we, um... That looks really good. Can, can we make some of those? It looks like rice balls with steak wrapped around it. Sounds amazing. Uh, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from our premium collection. A special gift from you, me to you. Oh. I'll accept a bomb flower. I will always accept bomb flowers. And with that, I'm off. I thought something smelled funny. Alright. Okay, so now... Hang on a minute. This rock looks suspicious. It wasn't. Wait. Oh, that tree broke. Oh dear. And it stops. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah, we had a blood moon, didn't we? Ah, that was too short. Ah, uh, let's not do that. Oh! I forgot I had that equipped. Alright, sorted him out. Did I just pick up his stick? Why did I pick up his stick? I thought my inventory was full. Is there another one? I thought there was another one. Wasn't there another one? Hmm. All right, I'll trust you for now. Chronic simp disease. <laughs>
Oh, I broke my... Oh, I broke my hammer. Alright, let's use the horrible hand. Oh, it's a one-handed hammer, though. Um... What's that? Wooden stick? Just a regular wooden stick? Um... Hmm. Well, I tell you what... Um... Traveler's sword is better than a wooden stick. Not by a huge amount, but it is better. Where am I at now? Ooh, heck. My bows are looking pretty grim. Um... I'll swap to this shield. Hmm. I wish I could get one of those spiked plates. I've only seen one so far inside a shrine. But they're these big steel plates with spikes on them. And I think that would be perfect for attaching to the outside of my shield. <laughs> this rock looks suspicious. It wasn't. Spoiler alert, that's like 90% of my ooh shiny moments. It's like, ooh, that looks like a thing. It isn't a thing. It wasn't going to be a thing. It's never going to be a thing. But I will always check. There's a really, really fat tree. In fact, that looks like multiple trees that have been spiraled around each other. I'm curious now, what's going on up here? Ooh, eggs. I hope these are not Rito eggs. Oh well. Okay, so the way this works is, uh, oh, first of all, I need to eat. There we go. Um, now I'm going to... Pinecone? Pinecone. Pinecone. Now I'm going to do this. There we go. And glide backwards to this location. Another Hylian Pinecone. This sounds ominous. Something real bad's happening up here. It's the Rito Village theme, but it's like distorted and... Oh, that doesn't sound right at all. They're in a famine. Yeah, you're right. With this kind of a blizzard, they wouldn't be able to grow food. Uh, I'm gonna go with another heart container. On account that I keep getting whacked in the face. Ah, ah this stupid fly in you. Good grief, go away. Go bug someone else. In the new Harry Potter game, is a, there are collectibles that are the exact same. Same as... Same as the... 
pine cones. Or do you mean the, um... The, like, heart container stuff. <gasps> Look, they've grown up! Like, they're not adults or anything, but they they look older. How are things going, mister? We're about to practice our song. It's called the Song of the Stormwind Ark. The Stormwind Ark? We're all gonna sing it together to save our village from upheaval. Are you gonna listen to our song, mister? Oh, I see. I see. Yay, we love an audience. So we'll give it our best for you. Everyone ready? A one, and a two, and... Once a god fell from heaven, stilling the Hebra winds. The heavens grew lifeless. Just as their air blow thinned. With the world in upheaval, we pledged to help the Lord. A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. The God ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its winds brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. You know, this song is about the Ark that saved Rito Village a long, long time ago. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Oh. Hey, that Stormwind Ark, is it real? It, I'd be so happy if it was. Oh. It definitely is. Papa told me it's always watching over us, high in the sky. We could sure use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. What? Ah. Well, if we don't have the Ark and we don't have the adults, it's up to us kids to take care of the village. Practice is over for today, Genli. You're in charge of food. And Molly, we need you to make arrows. Yeah. We've got all the jobs to do, so let's do them. Kid power! Did you like the song of the Stormwind Ark, mister? I can sing it again if you want. That's alright. I'll be practicing, practicing the song out here, so let me know if you change your mind. The kids are on their own? I don't like this one bit. Oh no, I did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. I know that feel. Hey, a, a customer. Who's sleeping? I wasn't sleeping, not me. <gasps> Welcome to the Swallow's Roost Inn. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. <gasps> Regular bed is 20 rupees, and silky soft Rito down bed is 50. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay. Come again when you want to use one of our comfy beds. I am not liking this one bit. Just, just saying. Hi. Full tummies make for a happy Rito. That's why I, I like learning new meals out of the recipe book. Recipe books? Are there recipe books? Can I learn these recipes? Actually, there's one right there. Fantastic. I saw one in there that I know everyone would love. A fish pie made with staminoka base. Uh, base. Made with a staminoka lead guitar. Doesn't that sound yummy? Problem is, I can't leave the village to catch a staminoka lead guitar. Thanks to this dumb blizzard. I have everything else, Sabantha, wheat, goat butter, rock salt. 
But if I'm going to make a fish pie, I need the fish. I need the Staminoka drum kit. First of all, I want to read this. Hot buttered apple. First you want to get goat butter. Simply cook goat butter and an apple together to get a hot buttered apple. Okay. Nut cake. Okay. Excuse me. Some ingredients may be in short supply due to the blizzard. We appreciate your patience as we restock. Tabantha wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar. Then toss in the ingredients. Uh, toss ingredients into a pot alongside your favorite type of nut to make the nut cake. And for added kick, try substituting the nut with something else. An apple is good starting point to experiment with. And then you got fish pie. Tabantha wheat, goat butter, rock salt, and fish. Tada, fish pie. Okay. Do I not have a Staminoka on me? I'm guessing not, then. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, what's this? Oil? Goat butter. I'll take the goat butter. Uh, I'll take them all. Yeah. You guys need the money more than I do by the looks of it. Take them all. Ooh, arrows. Um, yeah, buy them all. I need to adopt them all. <laughs> Kiko's gonna adopt all the burbs. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's do this. Gataka Shrine. Yeah, I don't like this all the adults have gone thing. That's weird. Hmm. Let's help them as best we can. Ride the winds. Okay. Seems pretty straightforward. Why did I have to say that? Why did... Why did I have to say that? Look straightforward. Oak. Oh. Uh huh. Okay, so I need to basically just Nope. So I need to get down there. And, like, do a last-minute landing job -o. Oh, I can break it by stomping on it. Ah! I didn't know that was a thing I could do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do it the, the other way, though. And I'm going to throw something at it. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got loads of those. I can just chuck one of those. All right, never mind. Uh huh. Oh, yep. Okay. 
this is this is difficult. Um, okay, so there's an enemy down that way. Okay, so there's enemies on all four sides. Is it? Oh, heck, there's a few of them. They're not on all sides, uh, but they're on uh, directly ahead of me. There. Can I? Uh, can I perhaps? Let's give this a shot. See if it'll work. Well, it might have worked if I had actually shot it in the right, you know. All right, never mind. Um, oh, I see. Oh, hang on. Do I have to get in under that grate? Come on. Ah! <laughs> Come on, please, just hit the damn thing. Oh, that was behind him. Are you serious? Yay, I got him. <laughs> Alright, so I can reach. There you go. I'll get him. Right, so now I have somewhere to aim for. I don't know if that's necessarily the best place to aim for, but I've got somewhere to aim for. Nope, nope, nope. Cool. I'm down here. Now what do I do? <laughs> I think I gotta go that way. That seems to be the, uh, the way to go. Can't see any other way to go. There we go. Oh, yep, that's the way. Well, that was interesting. Alright, and we got- actually, that's another four. Perfect, we can get another heart. Oh wait, what's this? Okay. That's a Korok. Um, <laughs> let's have a look. Oh, that, that music is so unsettling. I still got the armor here. I want to bet I can't afford it. Hi, what's oh, Keel? I remember Keel. Thanks for coming in, even though it's snowing so hard. It's cold in the village, but it's even colder on top of the mountain. You'll freeze solid at the peak if you don't find a way to keep warm. Lucky for you, we sell warm clothes. What brings you to the shop today? Uh. I wonder if I can sell or anything. Oh, I do have rubies and such. Okay, we'll, we'll sell her these.
I know, I know there's probably people screaming right now. No! Don't sell them! Ah! You need those! Ah, uh, don't worry about it. It's all good. I'm not really interested in using wands. Okay, I've got a decent amount of rupees there. Let's see how much, um... Let me give you a neat tip first. People are finding more caves all the time on the roads east of here and on the way to the Hebra Mountains. Caves are nice because they're warm. You can hide out from the cold day if you don't have your outfits. Plus, you can find shiny ores inside sparkly rocks sometimes. We, play, we pay a lot for those ores. And will and so will sorry I missed the so there and so will the folks at the general store so keep an eagle eye out for them. Well, that's what I just sold you. Five hundred. Six fifty. One thousand. Uh, well, um, you know, um, whew, right, um, hmm, I might get the tunic. Woof. I really love this top. Look at the colors. Look at the way it glows. I really, really love this top. This is so cool. But unfortunately, it's cold. I've got some warm trousers anyway, so I'm, I'm good for now. Yeah, look at, look at my cold rating on my bar. It's, uh... Next to nothing. Okay, so if I click on one of these, ah, so it still doesn't register the recipes that you've collected. Uh, I don't have any Tabantha wheat. Oh well. Oh well. <clears throat> The top gave me cold resist? I don't think so. Um... No, it's not cold resistance, look. Uh, the, the bar went down. So I've got cold resist on my warm greaves, and cold resist on my tunic. The, the the tunic um, gives me cold attack. Which is a really cool ability, not gonna lie. Oh no. Hmm, how about this one? Huh? You need something, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. My papa told me you can use ice fruit to freeze most of the solid. Which gives me an amazing idea for an invention. My problem is, I can't go outside to pick fruit right now, with the blizzard and all. Uh, it's so not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in so long, but without ice fruit, I can't make it. Well, I've got ice fruit and you can have them. Huh? Mister, I felt a cold breeze coming from your pouch. You shouldn't be getting that close to my pouch. Mister, what's that you've got? Is that the ice fruit I wanted, isn't it? Whoa, looks like you've also got some jelly-like stuff. Is that white choo-choo jelly from one of the monsters that freeze your salt if you touch it? Wow, it's not exactly what I had in mind, but I bet I can use that to make my big invention. Hey, you can have ice fruit. Um, you can have the ice fruit. Yay! Now I can finally make my invention! When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, I'll have an arrow that can freeze a monster from far away. Sometimes I'm so smart I scare myself a little. I wonder what would happen with the other materials. You could make arrows with all sorts of effects. Now listen to me. With every breath I spew out brilliance. Fwah! But I should probably stop talking before I give away all my best ideas. 
Anyway, here's a thank you present. Thank you. You know the reason I like making arrows? It's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. I wanted to make arrows that go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard. Getting my name out there. And one day, I'll be a world famous arrow maker. One my papa can be proud of. My heart. My heart. <laughs> That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. That voice actor sounds very familiar. Don't do anything. The village. Yeah, it's me. Who am I? It is you. Yep. Link. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Just making sure. <laughs> Tulin, young Rito warrior. Okay. There's Tepper. Link. They told me you were missing, and it's good to see you doing well. The new Rito Elder. It's very nice to see you again. She is so cute. Do you remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller, though perhaps not yet grown up. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself. You will always be my little chick. What? You think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know? You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. You all can... Uh, you all can keep wasting your time treating the Song of the Stormwind arc like it's real, but not me. Listen, you... Oh, unbelievable. Tulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard. And he's having trouble hearing no. Mentioned song? Yeah, it's an old folk song here in Rito Village. Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song that's been passed down through the generations. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. Oh, so that's Teba. <laughs> it's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Yep, you keep you keep forcing them bird references in as many times as you can. Still, every now and then you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval and it seems less far-fetched. I don't know, I want to go up there. <laughs> Even if the song of the Stormwind Ark is just a children's rhyme, I suspect that there is something lurking high in the sky. But the air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look into it. This is why I say we need to make careful preparations to find the truth. But Tulin, he thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Huh. But these are Rito matters. You came here for some purpose, yes? Actually, I came here for the purpose of Rito matters. <sighs> what? This is terrible news. So then, not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena, pheno, phen, phenomenon doo, 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 around the world are related somehow, hmm. Mm. We Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search, but this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping, and food has grown scarce. 
Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. I wish there was something I could do. Ah, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. My friend Hearth has, be has many sources of information. So he might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires out that way. I've just been there. I just came from over there. Hmm. He is in the lodge near there. If you'd like to try visiting him. <laughs> Two lens profile. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, uh, this way. Up. Nothing in there. What are these? These little toys. Oh. Managing food reserves and supplies, granting audiences and such. This village elder gig just isn't sitting right with me. Life was so much easier when all I had to do was hunt. Just me and my bow. Hmm. But you didn't come here to hear me complain. What can I help you with? Huh. That's the name of a ship that features in an old Rito children's song. As the song goes, long ago when a disaster threatened our village, a god sent a great flying ship. The blessed winds created by the ship put everything right. Doesn't sound like something that really happened, huh? But this never-ending blizzard counts as a disaster to me. You remember flying ships? Where were the flying ships? Oh, in the trailers. Oh, I thought you meant like in Skyward Sword or something. <laughs> I'd take it anything if it would save us from this, even the children's story. I guess the truth is somewhere up there, past that ominous cloud. If there's anything I can answer for you, ask. Hmm. All right, then. If you decide to visit Hearth, take care of yourself. The closer you get to that cloud, the colder it'll get. You'll need to take extra precautions against that blizzard. Alright, where is he? Where's Hearth? That way. Is there, is there anything over there? There is. There's the towers over there. Okay. We're just gonna do this teleporty thing instead, because... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to get across there just by gliding. Um, and I don't want to fall into the frigid waters below. Also, that looks like... <gasps> it's an axe headstone. That's useful. Uh... To a given value of useful. Okay, but at least I know where the where there is one. So I'll be able to find them easily. Right, there's the there's the bonfires. That's a pretty cool mechanic, I'm not gonna lie. It's so simple, but I like it. Ah, there we go. Hi. I'm drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigating. 
Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard, but it would be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. With the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. That's very, very true. It's something we've been learning here at home, actually. <laughs> we tend to do our food in batches, so we make a lot of food all at once on, like, one day. So it's less cooking and cleaning and stuff throughout the week, and we get a lot of food made all at once. And it's actually quite surprising how far, like, if you look at something, you might consider it a meal. But if you look at it as just like a big plate of food, you can actually break it down into lots of meals. So, yeah, it's a it's a good way of uh, saving a little bit of money and, you know, making food last a bit longer. We don't have many of them here, but you're welcome to what's available. I am not taking any food from you whatsoever. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other and help where we can. Yeah, that's why I'm not taking those, because I'm like... How many do I have? I have 61! Do you want some of mine? What's this? It's a book. Rito Records. Read the book about the Stormwind Ark. Actually, I will talk to the to this dude. That is quite the mop of hair he has. And uh, then I'll read the book. Link! You're, you're alright! I worried after I heard that you'd gone missing. What happened? Uh. Ah, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. Our feathers are full, dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. Hmm. And all that has been hampered by sky monsters that seem to be everywhere. I killed one. It was a big robot dude. We're spread too thin, and dealing with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. Wish I could do more for you. Though, now that I think of it, maybe Tulin could help. <laughs> oh, right. You went around for it, but uh, little Tulin's developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in this vicious weather, he patrols the skies and reports all kinds of useful information. Oh? His wing gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Whoa, whoa. Has he picked up Rivali's abilities? Even Stern Teba acknowledges that Tulin's skill is a cut above. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but, well, it's worth asking him at least. Last I saw him, he was with Gen. Gensane? Gess. Gesani? Gesani? Okay. He was with Gasane and Lysa on top of the, uh, on a trip, the, bah, 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 start over. Last I saw him, he was with Gasane and Lysa on a trip to find food. I think they were on their way to Hebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast from here. The cave is past the cliff out front and up the mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Oh, so that's the opposite direction to the way I went before. Find the bonfire at the mouth of the cave and you'll be on your way to finding Tulin. Okay, now let's read this book. The Legend. Okay, one day the winds that ought to blow in Rito Village ceased. Then the heavens grew stagnant and the earth fell to ruin. The villagers looked skyward for a solution. They saw a figure pierce through the unmoving grey clouds and descend swiftly towards them. Believing no ordinarily, no ordinary being could fall from the heavens, the villagers called this figure a god. And the gods stood atop a hill, day after day, longing to return to their home islands in the heavens. The villagers, forgetting their own troubles, tried to carry the god home on their proud wings. Yet, who could say how far it might be, the place this god came from? 
The Rito took flight in turn, each hoping to reach that place above the clouds. Alas, none had wings strong enough. Seeing this, the god told the leader of the village that returning to the heavens was possible if the Rito gathered materials. Their spirits high, the villagers set about doing so. The god nodded upon seeing a tall pile of materials. This, they understood, would be enough. The god poured a strange power into the pile, and several small boats were assembled. Oh, so that's, that's my assembly ability. Cautiously, the villagers boarded. The small vessel began to float up into the air. With the god leading them, the boats rose higher and higher, soon passing through the thick clouds. The vastness of the heavens took a villager's breath away. Floating islands dotted a clear blue sky. The villagers rejoiced songfully, and then with reluctance returned to earth. One day, winds at the village roared back to life. In shock, the villagers looked to the sky. Floating above them was an enormous ship that the god had sent in gratitude. Numerous oars on both sides began to move like wings, soundlessly churning the skies. The air blew across Hebra once again. The skies cleared and blooming flowers rose from the ground. The god had given them the blessing of wind. This ark that saved the village from catastrophe came to be known as the Stormwind Ark. And so, the story of the Stormwind Ark that saved the village long ago. Do you know what? Yeah, it saves Skyward. There's a bit more to this. So, they can't possibly be talking about anything that happened during the Skyward Sword era because, I mean, the Rito were Loftwings at the time. At very least, that's my assumption, that the, the Loftwings evolved into the Rito. Um... So that still indicates that there was a great deal of time between 10,000 years ago and the beginning of the whole story. And the fact that there was actually a cloud layer at the time is also in interesting. I wonder, I am really starting to wonder if the Rito and the, um, the loft wings are one and the same. What if they are different? Oh, pine cone. Not let go. Link! Okay, so there's a little one here. That's Cecily. I need to go further up. Oh, there's also a shrine up there. I should probably grab that while I remember. I'll have that. Oh, you've got one too. Yes, 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 yes. I'll take all of that. Thank you very much, Lee. Ooh, icy key swing. Oh, hello. He's a chonky boy. I'm glad I did that. I'm very glad I did that. I don't have to deal with that. That's these things are so annoying. Uh, what's burning there? Stick, stick, stick. Okay, cool. I'll take the Bocco horn. The Bacoblin scream. Yeah. It's pretty funny. They're kind of horrific at the same time. 
Uh, let's see what's going on up this end of the. Oh, uh, is that? I think that's the bonfire I'm looking for. I'm not seeing anything else up here. Where's that shrine though? Should I do the shrine first? I think I should do the shrine first. Uh, let's see if there's an easy way up rather than climbing. So I don't think I can reach the top. Uh, actually, I should be able to reach top if I go this way. Hang on. That looks like there might be a path, though. Oh. Not quite a path, but it's easier to go this way. Uh, get some cool Safflina as well. Oh, it's another one of them dudes. I can hear that music again. It's definitely not just the regular Hebra nighttime music. Where is that? Like the music changed as I got up, up the mountain. Aid from above. Okay. So we've got a laser little doohickey here. Aid from above. Um... I don't think I can just jump over it, can I? Oh. <laughs> Fine then. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Wait, can maybe can time do anything? No. Okay. So I can just jump over that one. Right. I get it. <laughs> I don't know what the the name is in aid of, however. Like, so far, nothing has been particularly, um, help from above. Can I move these, perhaps? And if I go... Right, so it's not like I can put a block in the way. Okay, so I can't... 
lift that gate. It, it is a puzzle somewhere here. Obviously. Actually, hang on. Yeah, that... Oh. Right. I get it. <clears throat> oh, spicy elixir. Okay, now I'll just uh, yank that back. I'm not sure about this. I'm having flashbacks to Resident Evil. The next one to come at me is a lattice. Obvious, it's Resident Evil. Damn it. Um. Uh. Uh. Fuck. Okay. Oh. Okay. So it doesn't come all the way up. <laughs> wow! I can't believe it! They put Resident Evil into my Legend of Zeldas! <laughs> there we go. Wow! Okay! <laughs> I'm genuinely impressed by that, honestly. Um, I'm sure we all recognize the scene from uh, the first Resident Evil movie. <clears throat> all right, well, now we'll go down to the cave. Oh, didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon. What with the blizzard and all. I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? Oh. Looking for Tulin, huh? Fair enough. He's farther in the cave with Gisane. They're scavenging for food. No, I'm not. Going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've amassed so far. Ah. Be on your guard. There's a creature in this cave that hops around on the walls. It probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Tulin. I think she's referring to the frog things. Get rid of these first. I'ma have some chocolate. Cause I have some chocolate. Ow. Ooh. Oh. Okay. So far, pretty straightforward. I'm waiting for everything to go sideways, though. I'll take that.
What is this thing that sticks to walls? Okay, all right, I'm all right, I'm safe. I didn't think that would be a hole that went all the way down, but there we go, it was, I'm here, I'm alive, it's fine. <laughs> okay, what's in there? It's just chill fins? Okay, one, two. Oh, I don't want to waste this though. Uh, well, I got this one. I'll... Oh, it's a fair whack of amber. Um, okay. Uh... I gotta remember that this is a thing because. And there's so many ways to use it. But at the same time, like, it, it's it's such a new and unique ability that it's not something I necessarily think about. Okay, you know what? Ow. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do some, uh, cleaning in here before we go anywhere, because this is, this is treacherous. That's the cave I came in from. That's the one I'm trying to get up to. Oh, it wasn't a frog that's hanging from the ceiling. It's a horriblin. Actually, I want to check something. Just. Just want to check one last thing down here before I go anywhere. Is this... Oh, okay. <clears throat> I thought that piece of, um... Of... Uh, thorns were covering... Was covering an entrance. Oh, excuse me. Alright, up we go. I can see him. doesn't know where I am. Where's my horrible hammer? That is. All right. So if we go through here now, 
Ooh, cave fish. I think I'll be uh, taking those with me. So the glowing cave fish are interesting because uh, the ability that they have. I can't catch it, it's too low down. The ability that the, the cave fish have is when you eat them, you personally start to glow as well. It makes it useful uh, for food in... Hey, no, come back. It makes it useful for going down into the depths. Okay. Alright, so I can see what I've got to do here. This one's pretty straightforward. We're going to put a fire fruit right there, and then we're going to put a pine cone on it. Ow! I can hear a frog, though. I know my bow is damaged. Sir, S sir, thank you. Oh, that's the one. Ooh, a sapphire. Very nice. Right, what else are we looking at? Okay, so there's uh, over there. Actually, um, I, I was saying about the glowing cave fish, but it's the same with these glow shrooms. If you eat those, you begin to glow. It's a very interesting mechanic, not one that I've had to use so far, but it, do, it does... Um... Oh, hi! Um... But yeah, it's it. I really like the way that this game is using ideas that um, and concepts that I I'd never even thought of, never even considered. Because usually you just go right. Well, I I want a torch or I want a lantern or something like that. But no, in this one, it's no no. Link just glows. I was like, oh okay then. Not where I would have gone with, but fair enough. What are we going to do with that boy? It's just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Hmm? Oh? Well, I'll be. What's a Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? Hmm. You're here to talk to Tulin, eh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge for food in this area. But we just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. I told the others we should return right away to report them, but Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm going to follow them back to their nest, and flew off alone before I could protest. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Talonto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. <clears throat> no doubt Tulin followed them there. I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really should be taking shouldn't be taking these chances. Fair enough.
There's still chill fins. I thought I might have found some Staminoka up here or something, but... Yeah, seeing as I was asked to find Staminoka at one point. Okay, so that's the way out. And there should be a cedar tree. Random snowball. Oh my goodness. Why are you up here? Wouldn't it just be easy for me to just stand here? I put President Hudson here too. I've eaten special rice balls, so I made. Th oh, yeah, yeah, okay. What? You're going to support him? Alright, I'll let go. Nope. Ah, <laughs> oh, unforgivable. Okay, so it's not gonna be. Um. It, it, it requires more than my weight. Oh, hello. That's a bit of a rock right there. Alternatively, I could also just like stand here and not let it hit the ground. <laughs> the president is standing! That was brilliant! I never would have thought of it! Alright, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Just put this there and get that fastened and. Perfect! With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Okay. Also, you must be hungry after that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Those look nice as well. Uh, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. A puff shroom. Ah, uh, see? You could have gone with another bomb flower or something, but nah. Now I can go to the other places and put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. Okay. Weirdo. Alright, that's the cave I just came out of. Um, ooh, uh, yes, well, um, hmm. He is not going down. All right, all right, fair enough. Um, okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, you got me good. You got me good. Fair enough. That's that's uh, could you stop? Oh crap. Got him. <sighs> How is this one still alive? Ooh, hello. All right, let's, uh... Let's get some food back in me, shall we? Uh, I'll use that one seeing as it's... Uh, there we go. What's that? Soldier's bow. Oh, soldier's bow. Yes, I want that. <laughs> soldier's spear. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, 
Ooh, arrows. Take that. There are loads of arrows around. My goodness. Right, where's this cedar tree then? Guess I just gotta follow the area up. Whoa, that's a piece of... Hang on, there's a cedar tree, but there's a piece of ruin here. Oh, ack. Okay. Uh, we are switching our bow. Um. For one of those. And we are putting our arrows with, uh... <laughs> He's going to beat the crap out of his own men. <laughs> oh, did he run out? Did he kill them all already? Oh, there's one left. Wow, he's really tanking. Boss Bacoblin Horn. There we go. Nice. Oko Shield. Three. Yeah, the, I, I'm honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed with those Boss Bacoblins. I thought they would be a lot stronger than that. Like, I wasn't expecting them to be Hinox strong. But I was expecting them to be... <sighs> they barely put up much of a fight, to be honest. They, they're they no more... They've got more HP, and they deal more damage than a Bokoblin, for example. In fact, they deal... They have more health, and they do more damage than a Moblin. Which is fine. But it still doesn't quite feel enough. I feel like, given their size, and given the sort of... Um, enemy they are. I feel like I should still be worried about them. Is there... There's a Bokoblin in that ice... Alright, well, I'm gonna le le let him stay there. <clears throat> I suppose in a way when you put up... Um, when, when you do the whole ambush tactics where you just whip around the corner and then attack them with stuff that they can't really account for in a split second. Then, alright, yeah, I guess the tactics matter. But at the same time, I don't know, I just f feel like I was expecting them to be more of a boss. Yeah, a squad of Bokoblins can be way more dangerous than a boss Bokoblin. Not gonna mess with him. <clears throat> well, there's that one tree. Interesting. Stupid monsters. Huh? What? Link? Where did you come from? Oh, uh, you see. That rotten monster took my good bow. Do you want mine? I've got... Oh no, that's that's got weights on it. Okay. See? That's the bow napper. Yeah, I can see him. I've got to get it back. Help me out, Link. Really? Thanks. Did you know I can blow strong gusts of wind anywhere I feel like? 
So it's like Rivali's Gale, but directional. I'll do it for you too. That way you can glide over to where the monster went. Uh -huh. Just tell me where, where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. Tulin's power. When Tulin's aura is charged, it can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. This can be used for bursts of speed when paragliding. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> uh, so, how do I... That way. Gust. Oh, I see. Um... Okay. I was I was concerned I wasn't going to make it then. <laughs> that was easy. Come on, Tulin. Seriously? Oh. There we go. I owe you big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Oh dear. There's more of them. I can see that. <clears throat> okay. All right. They're not going to make a fool out of me twice. Let's get them together. Let's go with... Do that first. We did it! Hey look! I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. What's that? Hmm? Oh. Was that... the wind? It couldn't have been, there's no way! It must have been something else. Huh. Tolan! Link! Huh? Uh-oh. <clears throat> We're about to get in trouble. Oh. That was some impressive teamwork, you two. Uh, y you saw that, Hearth? Sorry. Talk about... Uh, sorry. Talk about embarrassing. Why do I say sorry? I've got no reason to apologize. I'm awesome. I didn't listen when Gasane tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite boat to those stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged, but there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Mm. I bet now you see why you were treating treated like a small chick. Yeah. <laughs> you were right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what Dad's been trying to tell me all this time. Is that all there is to the story? It seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Huh. Oh, yeah. Funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her again attacked by a monster. It was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and it stole my bow. What? But I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above the cloud. Uh -huh. What? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How can that be? Hmm. Seems like a stretch, but we're not going to get to the bottom of it sitting around here. Uh -huh. Tulin, Link. Sorry, Tulin, Link came out here looking for, for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud. You say the princess soared into. Huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed. Ah. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. 
I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way in is through the top, but... There's not a Rito alive capable of crossing that stormy sky and making it all the way there. Well, except for one. Uh. I'm talking about you too, Lin. Only you have the skill and the training to create gusts that will... At will, sorry. <laughs> Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Oh. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Teba. D dad said that? Oh. Yep. And I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now, it's time for you to go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever co is causing that blizzard. <laughs> no problem. Two of us together have got this. I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near the Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. Alright, so I've now got a follower. A falcon bow. Um... Ah, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. Falcon Bow is 14, so I'm going to drop this. Pick up the Falcon Bow. Got a Claymore there. What have I got in terms of weapons? Um... A claymore is going to make, it will be useful as a hammer later, so I can drop that one and pick up a claymore. And switch to this sword. Like that. Okay, so what, what can I do then? Um, I really don't like these. Desperate strength. I think that gives you extra strength if you're low on HP. That might be worth keeping, actually. Okay, so I will start by dropping a... Do I have a... Horriblin horn. Right. Uh, Claymore. I want to attach that to the Claymore. There we go. So now we've got a hammer. Um, I'm gonna drop this, yeah, I'm gonna drop this feathered edge, I think. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna merge this feathered edge with the boss bacoblin horn I just picked up. Actually, you know what, I'll do that with the knight's halberd. I don't usually like them, but that's gonna be a decent amount of damage there. So that will be worthwhile using. And then I'm going to add... I'm going to use this. I don't know how strong it's going to be. I don't know where its durability is going to be. But... I'm going to give myself... That is a serious amount of damage. Okay. All right, I think I'm good now. Let's go. Um, where are we going? We're going up to Hebra Peak. Look at these ruins, though. I wonder if I can get up on top of that. You know, that's a little bit annoying the way you just kind of hover there. Just saying. A Zonite sword. Hmm. I already have one. 
I wish I had more space, honestly. Okay. I think I should probably be using this kid's power. <laughs> and there's uh, an updraft here. Is this not an updraft? Am I not in an updraft? What the heck? The graphics are showing an updraft. Why is there no updraft? We're a waste of height. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> the problem with this kid's ability is I don't really know how it works. So, the last thing I really want to do is, um, oh my goodness, there's a lot of them up here. That's a lot of constructs. Okay, um... Oh no, he's got a flamethrower. He's got a flamethrower! Oh, this... I, I hate the flamethrowers. Oh, the flamethrowers are OP in the hands of these things. What's my current weapon? Okay. 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 The problem is, really, that the constructs move so quickly And they can just run up behind you and just hit you with the flamethrower. It's like there's nothing you can do about it. The thing with me as well, if I've got the flamethrower, as soon as I try to block, it starts using it. Which means it depletes my energy. They get to choose when they want to use it. Which is, you know, why I think it's a little bit OP in enemy hands. Because they can block without using the flamethrower. So it doesn't waste the flamethrower. They use it when they need it. Oh my goodness, he's got an icicle for a weapon and that just froze me. That's pretty cool, though. I was wondering if that's what the, um... That's not a feather dodge. I was wondering if that's what the icicles were for, because I we saw them in the cave that, um... That one time. Um, I'm not too worried about... Weapons at the moment. I am a little bit worried about HP, though. Uh, let's have a look. We'll take this, pull it over here, we'll take that. And we pop it down in the middle there. Uh, we have a flamethrower, it's on the- oh, it's on the shield though. Is there another flamethrower around you? Hmm, does 
doesn't look like it. Oh, what's that on top of the hill? Wait, what is that on top of the hill? I need to reach my fr- Oh, it's a- It's a Korok. Okay, where's your friend? Oh dear, okay. Um... Ah, oh, well, that's- That's a damn shame. Okay, um, wait, I should be able to just go up through the floor there. Actually, actually yeah, I should be able to just go up through the floor here, surely. Uh, I'm not going to bully them too much right now. Just want to get up to the top of this. Sorry, find the answer to what in my menus? I, I missed that part. Nice. My foot is in the worst pain, help me. I not a lot I can do about that, unfortunately. But welcome to the stream, cats. How to utilize the kid's abilities? Oh, um, maybe? Uh, maybe in the... Character profile. Nope. Um... Special controls? All I know is I'm supposed to talk to him and then use the ability. I uh, don't know when that, act how it actually activates, and I don't know which direction to, like, how to point him in a particular direction. <laughs> nearly there. Nearly there. You know... The kid's slow hovering is uh, a little bit of a... <laughs> it is really frustrating. He's just like, yep, yeah, anytime now, old man. It's like, shut up. Like, it seems to be able to blow me in different directions, but I don't know if it necessarily can blow me straight up. So it's not quite Rivali's Gale. Oh, look at that. They are a bit further away than I thought they were. I didn't mean to let go of the button that time. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, they're far away. Okay. They're probably going to try to drop those balls on me, though. Yeah, okay. Got one. Where'd the other one go? There it is. Right I'm there. Okay, never mind. Kid go instead. Um, I'm sure they do, but the instructions that they gave weren't particularly great instructions in the first place. It was just press A when the kid is the kid's charge is available. What are you doing up here? If only it were possible to find out what's inside of that blizzard. That's what we're here for. Oh? Why, if it isn't Tulin? I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. Were you also too focused on the cloud to notice the two, um... Aerocudas that were flying around? Or did that just completely pass you by? But if you've come here, that means... 
They said I could go up there. Oh. I knew it. Something told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone has admired your wind gust technique since you first demonstrated it. Ah. You may be the only Rito capable of rising above that cloud to find the truth among the turbulent skies. Give it your best shot. I'll be here watching for your return. Thanks. Between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. Alright, so this is where I know of how to do it. <clears throat> the kid prepares, and then I go, Gust. And then I can follow the gust. Right? That much I know. That much was easy enough to figure out. But I can't seem to figure out if there's a way to aim. Right? So we let's go. I want to go up, but I can't. It seems like I can only go straight forward. That's going to miss. Yeah, so the, the aiming with his ability seems to just be on a horizontal plane, not on a vertical plane. So I can't go straight up, but I can go sideways. Okay. Um, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to help me actually get above the clouds then. Oh, look, there's a, another shrine over there. Seriously, kid, you could give me a hand. Like, even Ravali would help me up sometimes. And Ravali was a dick. Yeah, yeah he did. How do you think you got up on to uh, Varmedo that one time where he's mocking you about not being able to get back down. Oh, heck. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to climb that? I don't have the stamina to be able to climb that. Um... Let's, let's give this a shot. See, I can get him to go... Yeah, I can get him to go round, but not... Not up, unfortunately. Yeah. Swing and a miss there, kid. Swing and a miss. Um... Leave it to me. Actually, I wonder if I can... Uh, start gliding and then have him... Um... Activate. So rather than... Getting the boost at the beginning of my... Glide, I get it at the end, giving me a little extra distance. Let's, uh, let's test that. Yes, okay. Still a swing to miss, however. That's fine. I just had a thought. Oh, 
Okay. There are other ways of dealing with this. No, I don't want two of those. I want two of those. You can't take that out here? Oh, that's just... That's just petty. <laughs> that, that's just... That's just straight up petty. <laughs> yeah, pinecone fire might do it. I'll, I'll try that now. Hang on. That's assuming I have wood. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay, I'm hoping that when I get to this area here, it's going to have enough space for me to put my feet down. It does not. Okay. So, um, I don't know how I'm going to make it up here without dying. Um... Okay. Okay. Oh. Right on. Was around here it was around here I saw Princess Zelda hmm. but now I don't know where she could have gone uh -huh. huh what is that oh my goodness it's bow ornament the the sorry the the head ornament is a chicken Look at that! It's a boat! It's a chicken boat! <gasps> I realized what's happening! Whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? 
Oh, hell. I think... Wow, that's a big, big, big boat. I think the kid is hearing... Uh, his calling. I think he's a sage. Whoa. Do you see that thing inside the cloud? Is that another boat? But it's huge. It's tons of those little flying boats too. You know where it reminds me of? Boats. A line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. I actually thought that was going to end up being an ark, like, um, like a chest. Not an ark as in a boat. Okay, interesting. This whole thing is just like the Song of the Stormwind Ark. Oh yeah, of course, the Stormwind Ark was a boat, obviously. Shows I'm paying attention, doesn't it? Oh. Was that children's song true after all? You hear the strange voice too, right, Link? I'm sure I heard it say, come to me. Hmm. It's like it was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship? Uh -huh. Well, nowhere to go but up. Come on. Yeah, I'm in agreement with that one, actually. Um... Oh, I was not expecting that. Right, okay, well, we're going straight to that shrine. There we go. My, uh, Umekis. My, Yaumek, my, Umekis. Okay. I've been trying to place the, uh, like... Um, the cultural origins of some of the names, and some of them sound Greek, some of them sound, um, Native American, some of them sound, <sighs> I don't know, it's like, there's... like that one sounded kind of, like Mayu Mekis, it kind of sounds somewhere between, like, Japanese and Greek. Hmm. I wonder what I do here. What was the shrine called? Downward Force. That's awfully high. Um... Oh wait, hang on a minute. Is this a... a yes, it is. Oh! It's a boat! No, it's not a chicken. It's a loft wing. Look at the shape of the beak. It reminds me of the bird from... It's the bird from the, um, from Kakariko Village, from t uh, from A Link to the Past. Or similarly, it's it's similar. It's it's got a similar sort of shape, the downward facing beak. I wonder, are they going to recontextualize that it wasn't just a bird that was flying around carrying Link everywhere? That it was actually a boat that was shaped like a bird? Oh, heck.
Uh, oh, yeah, I'll take all that. Thank you very much. Okay, so... Ah, right. I see how they work. You put- you have to put a downward force on them in order for them to eject you up. Ah, I get it. So it's not about just landing on them, you gotta land on them with force. But if you land gently, I'll be able to... Uh, maybe I'll be able to use the... Ascend? No. Okay. Um... So what am I missing? Is there another... Hang on. Is there another switch I need to hit? Oh, hang on. I think there was. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I just I just want to go down there. Thanks There we go <laughs> Oops, oh well, oh hang on There's a ladder there Is this where the chest is? So there's the, um, there's the gate. I'm going to close that. Oh, I can't close that. Uh, I'm not seeing the chest, though. Maybe the chest was outside somewhere. Hmm. Oh well, I can go looking for the chest um, another time. Oh, I should have gotten another... Ah. Oh. I should have gone and gotten the other heart before I came up here. Actually, now that I think about it, I've just done a shrine. So I could just fast travel down and fast travel back. Ah, Rita Village, there we go. Oh, cool. All right, so he'll stay up here and wait for me to get back. That works. Works for me. All right, let's have a look. We'll go... We just run around here. There we go. <clears throat> uh, 
another heart container. As, as much as I really want to get my stamina going, I think heart container is definitely the way forward at the moment. Some of those enemies, they can just hit you so hard. Okay. So... Ah, this is right. Are we actually in the storm yet, or are we still... Oh. Link! Uh -huh. You're back! Come on, we've got more investigating to do. Okay, are we actually in the storm yet? No, the storm is still way above us. Um... I guess that's the way to go up, so we'll go that way. Um, I'm also kind of curious about this here, so ah, I can use my uh, arrows for it too. Um, let's see. Wish I could just pick up rocks. That would make things easy. Oh, look, I've got so many bokoblin horns. Oh, arrows. Yeah, I was a bit concerned about this one. I wasn't sure whether it was actually going to be, um, like, have a bottom or if it was just going to be an endless drop down to the mountains below. So I just wanted to be a bit cautious on that one. Right, you? That way. Okay, thanks, kid. Oh, my soldier bow is uh, damaged. Uh, actually, that way. I just realized what that what that sounds like. That's from Twilight Princess. That's the hawk grass song. Hang on a minute. Let's see if I can. I, I'm not sure how I can do this. I'll. I'll. Uh, hawk. Grass. TP. Does it have the sound effect? It does not. Back. Okay, let's see. If I think I can do it by doing this. This is the hawk grass. Let's see if that's uh. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's see, can you hear this? No. Um. Ah, oh, I don't know how to bring it in. Let me see. Uh... Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't have, I don't have PC sound. I don't know why I don't have PC sound. Hang on a minute. Sorry, let me just uh, quickly 
See if I can set this up. Audio output capture, yeah. P C sound. Okay. There we go. Okay. Alright, so I think I've got it now. Let me bring the volume down. I don't want to blow your ears out. Uh Okay. So the sound that is being made when he does when he activates his ability is the same as this. It's that part. It's the beginning. That's... That's the hawk grass from Twilight Princess. It's what Link uses to call his hawk companion. Dude, you coming or what? That's really cool. That's a really cool addition. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Those springboards are really cool, but I am never expecting them. Oh, what's that? Is that a better bow? Is that a better zone, Ipo? Strong construct bow, yes! Ooh, I should be fighting these guys more. Right, where are we going now? Up there? Up there. Alright, so I need- I actually need to turn that uh, PC sound thing off. Otherwise it's gonna duplicate my sound. <laughs> okay... These blocks are interesting. Hang on a minute. Can I do something with them? Yeah, I thought so. I'm gonna stack them on top of each other. Oh look, there's um... Where are, wait, where are those? They're not gachas. I thought they were gachas for a second. It is, it's the, it's the first two notes of that. No doubt about it. Oh heck, I don't think I can make it up this. Stop, think, where am I going? How am I going to get there? Uh, oh, actually... Ah, I know what I need to do. Okay, so that's too far away. <clears throat> but if I pull these down... I'm gonna build them like building blocks first, just put them next to each other without attaching them. Um, and if I need to attach them to make them one long thing, I will. But I don't think I should need to. No, I don't. Okay, cool. See, so yeah, it's a really cool little um, reference they put in there. Really wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah, what are those glowy things? 
It could just be lights. I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay, so I need to go... The yeah, it looks like they're just lights. I need to go this way, kid. Um... Like that. Yeah, that works. That definitely works. Hey, do you know what I just realized as well? This is a dungeon. Like it's, it's not a dungeon like you would expect. It's all very open air. The walls are the sheer drops between the platforms. But this is a dungeon. Oh, you. Oh, that was, um... Oh, let's go with that one, because it's weaker. Kid, he, he done. He done for, mate. Um, is there anything I can... Uh, I'm good. <clears throat> Where are you? There you are. Okay, so I can see what I need to do here. Is that big dude? Um, do I want to fight the big dude? I definitely want to fight the big dude. I'm trying to see if it, I can't see if there's an easy way back up though. Doesn't matter. Sup, dude? Oh, it's only a construct one. Ah, wait, what's wrong with my... Oh, chest. <clears throat> There's a map. Where's that one gonna put me? <sighs> oh, we've got some stuff to find down in the underground. Well done, kid. Nice shot. can I add? I can put that on there. Do a little bit extra damage. Actually, do I have a better weapon to do this? I do. Sorted, mate. Okay, so I got another one of these, uh, one of these roller things. Um. I wonder what would happen if I attached it to the Zonite Sword. Let's, uh, let's see. Um. Nothing particularly special. Okay, fair enough. Alright, well, I've got two of those now. <laughs> Seeing as this one put it at the tip of the sword rather than at the hilt, like everything else, I figured that maybe it would be some kind of, like, beam sword with a mace on the end, but no. Never mind. It is powered by a Zonite uh, sword hilt. So that means it's extra strong. It gets extra bonus strength. So that's good. 
We'll continue with that one until... Um... So we need to change? No. Question. How do I get out from you? Oh, there we go. That's... That's the answer right there. So I need to be on the lookout for... Areas like this. Looking... Just looking for what looks like a, a square base. Because if I can find a square base, I may be able to go up through it. Okay, so I'm back basically where I was. Um, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, 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 right, okay. And be aware of that, fair enough. Now, if I remember correctly, there is in fact a ship below me. <laughs> that would be an issue if there wasn't. One. Two. Well done, kid. <clears throat> Alright, well, I think I saw what I have to do. I'm just not entirely sure how to do that. Oh, I know. I know. I know. That's the way to do it. Oh, nope, that's not the way to do it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Oh, the wind's actually blowing me a bit, so... Okay. Arrows, all right. Getting a lot of arrows. Um, not gonna, not arguing. I, I prefer having more arrows than no arrows. Breath of the Wild. It just feels like I'm getting an awful lot of them. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Hang on. Right, okay, so that's... Like that. To be able to get across there, okay. Now where am I going? Oh, there's another shrine up there. Oh, I see. I'm going that way. Ooh. It's not easy to see exactly where you are when you try to drop straight down. Okay. Oh, it's fish. Oh! Right, um... I think these are a lot bigger than I think they are. <laughs> They're really weak, though. Oh, they're fighting the... Oh, well. I mean, if they're fighting the constructs, I... <laughs> Who am I to get in the way of someone else's fight? <laughs> oh, 
All right, so we're going to light this and um, I mean they're chillfin trout but they're still fish so I guess it doesn't really matter so long as I'm getting some hearts out of it okay so let's have a look what have we got for making food um, I could do another, hang on, do another one of these. Um, let's see, where else have we got? Well, we got some steak. If I go with I don't know steak hold maybe do we have any uh, recipes actually we do oh hello are we do we have the rice I don't think we have rice no we don't have rice Oh, that's a shame. That would be useful. Uh, let's see. This blue trout prefers cold bodies of water. Its skin contains enzymes that keeps its body cool. When it's cooked into a dish, it will temporarily boost your heat resistance. Oh, okay. Um... So it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing for me to eat up here, but it uh, it's definitely more useful on the ground. Um, that's a glowy one. Don't need the glowy one. Hmm. What is a recipe I can do with steak, Kiko? Could you quickly have a look for me? I did, there was something about nuts as well earlier. But I don't think I have all the parts for that either. I know I could probably just do something simple like steak, uh, raw meat and rock salt. I know you get a salted meat. Can I get a, let me do one here. This one's just going to be a test one. Salted steak and mushroom. I think that's that's all I need. I've still got one steak left, so uh, if Kiko comes up with a recipe that I can do, then uh, we'll do that one as well. Okay, so that's that's not great. That's only three hearts. <clears throat> Um, just thinking. Wow, I really haven't been hunting. Steak, mushroom, rock salt. That's the only one. Right on. I'll put two mushrooms in. See if I get a little bit of extra out of that. I uh, probably could have put a Hyrule Herb on there as well. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. Okay. I got a big one for that one. That's going to be useful. <clears throat> um, If I was to go with... Let, let me just test this theory. If I was to do that... They should cancel each other out. And I just get standard pepper seafood. Okay. Let me take a good look at that. See, it says pepper seafood, but it doesn't have the 
bonus. Okay, so I can use this steak with pepper to not get the bonus. So I do that. Two of those. And I'm going to go with a Hyrule Herb. Steak, mushroom, rock salt, best ingredients for a pie. Not wrong there. Oh yeah, see, okay, so the Hy Hyrule Herb really boosts that one. Also, welcome to the stream, Linekins. Okay, so... I can go with fish. What did I just do? <laughs> Hold on, hang on. Uh, I got the recipe, hang on. Fish, two peppers, and a Hyrule Herb gave me five. So what if I go fish, pepper to cancel out the bonus, and a Hyrule Herb? That should give me five exactly. That's five exactly. It's exactly like I thought. Brilliant. Okay, I, I, think, I think I understand the way that cooking works in this game now. Really? It sounded like I didn't know who you were. I know who you are. You're that guy. <laughs> there we go. This is, this is actually a pretty decent combination. Like, I've got loads of it, so may as well. Yeah, that one. <clears throat> oh really? I'm speak oh wow, okay. Yeah, he's really busy these days, sadly. Uh don't get to chat very often either. When we finish with these, we're gonna uh, carry on. It's nice to have a, a pot halfway through a dungeon to be able to um, replenish your cooking. Oh, actually, I've got a fair few there. Should, probably don't need any more than that. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. Ah, he moved! How dare! Alright, um... Go across to here. Then we go up here. Oh, I didn't mean to jump there. Okay. Next, I want to get rid of these guys because I don't want them in my way. One down? No, he's not down. Hi! Okay, he's down. Oh wow, I just completely went over his head with that one. Yeah, your shield's not gonna really help against a bomb. Wow, my... Oh, I just realized what bow I'm using. I've got extra range on this one. Oh well, it's gone now. Um... Screw it. 
bombs work. That doesn't, though. There we go. Alright, last one. What's this? Oh, it's another strong bow. Good, 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 good. Mo, -o, welcome. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Ah! Ah! Crimony! No! That is horrifying. There we go. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh my goodness. The floor falling away from you when you're this high? Good grief, you feel it even though it's a game. Holy moly. <sighs> Did I just say crimony? Yeah, I say crimony. <laughs> Do you. There we go. What's wrong with saying criminy? Hang on. I just realized what they're trying to throw at me. These are time bombs. Ooh, Zonite Spear. Actually, that might be useful. He just hit me with a time bomb. He just hit me with a time bomb. This place is pretty horrific. I'm not gonna lie, it's 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 rough. It's not difficult so far. Uh, well, it's as difficult as you make it, and let's face it, I've I've made it very difficult on myself. Um, ah, I kind of want that. I don't like spears, but a zonite spear with like um, a flamethrower on the end or something that might be pretty useful. That looks safe. I'm in a cage. <clears throat> Ooh. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a link in a cage. Hang on, hang on, there's an easier way than doing this. I get the same feeling when playing Sea of Thieves. A lot of the, uh, I love the game, but it helped me discover my second biggest phobia: deep bodies of water. <clears throat> yeah, I I agree with what Kiko said there. It is becoming a more commonly uh, talked about phobia these days. I think, I think people because there's uh, you know. Because more people are indoors, you know, thanks to the coof and all that jazz, um, a lot of people have lost touch with the outdoors. And something which is even further becomes scary in comparison. Like, if you're uncertain of the, of the, uh, the ocean, But you're pretty confident outside, for example, then that kind of works. But if you suddenly become uncertain of the outside, then I think the ocean would become quite a scary prospect. And I think that's what's caused a lot of it. Uh, me? I'm not so much scared of the ocean as I am scared of what's in it. <laughs> 
I've got no problem with the ocean. I actually really used to enjoy uh, scuba diving. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's the what's in it has been bothering me more recently. See, a game design thing that I like is the injection of paranoia. Say the falling platforms you have just now. Say there's several floating platform sections. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're, you're not wrong because I'm already thinking of that. As I was gliding down to the floating sections underneath where the falling sections had fallen from, I was sitting there thinking, okay, if I land on one of these, what's the chances that it's not a safety net, it's just a trap? Oh, this is going to be fun. I think if I go to the central location, I should be fine. Um, then I can get the kid to blast me in that direction. And there's a boat directly below this one, so I'll just drop straight through. Or not. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. I see. I see where they're going with this. This is my first time flying up this high. It is pretty cold up here, huh? I'll be fine, but... What about you, Link? Make sure you don't freeze, okay? Um, I am still doing good. I've got the, I got the, um, the warm shirt from Rito Village, but I'm also wearing the, as uh, Mary put it earlier, the hot pants. So I think I'm doing pretty good. I can always eat, um, a, uh, you know, the, the spicy peppers, if necessary. But I don't think I'm going to need it. You, you got through a good few with no issue, but then you do this one, which makes the platform fall, and when you, when you stand on it, even in the, uh, even if the game never does it again, you're always going to be paranoid. Agreed. Absolutely. Do you know what? I had a, a wallpaper background that looked a lot like this about 10 years ago, except it was purple. I made it myself. I wonder if I can still find that. I'm more claustrophobic. I don't like small spaces in games. Oh, yeah, understandable. Actually, with me, claustrophobia in games is more a frustration. It's a frustration thing. I, I feel, I start feeling physically claustrophobic in real life because I'm frustrated with trying to manhandle a camera angle. If that makes sense. It's like, I'm trying to get the thing. And then, you you know, you end up feeling like you're enclosed in real life at the same time. Because you're struggling. It's the struggle, I think, more than anything. It's not so much necessarily um, a sense of claustrophobia, but just a, st a sense that you're struggling. They did in Dying Light as well. I actually haven't played Dying Light. I've been meaning to. Oh my goodness, I am up. Hi! Oh, these winds are crazy up here as well. I'm literally gliding sideways. I can... F 
Okay, I don't know how they managed to do this. Maybe it's just a... Uh, a visual thing, but I can feel the wind. I can feel the strength of the wind pushing me as I'm walking. Uh, I think I'm good with this one. I might need uh, might need the kid again in the next one. Oh, maybe not. <sighs> the other thing as well is I don't want to miss an opportunity to explore. I think there might be a chest down there. Um... But I don't want to screw it up. There was not a chest down there. Well, that's fine. I can. I should still be able to get back up. Oh my goodness, yeah, um, thankfully, um, I wasn't necessarily gonna play this because, uh, oh, if I do, I probably won't necessarily do it on stream. Uh, but the wizard game, uh, it, it has an arachnophobia mode now, and it looks like, um, excuse me, it looks like it, it, it's something I could actually play, which is a... Kind of a big deal. <laughs> wow, the wind is so strong. <sighs> oh my goodness, I didn't think I was going to make that one. I think I need to land on that ship down there. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is so... Oh. The butt is clenched. Oh. I think I did it. I think I made it to the top. Yeah, I'm actually fine with the spiders in Skyrim. They, to begin with, they don't really look like spiders. <laughs> the calm. I'm above the storm. Oh my goodness, that silence. <gasps> oh. This is stunning. Goodness. We're going in, boys. The Wind Temple. I haven't even reached the temple yet. That was just getting to the temple.
Ah, look, he's right below me. Loftwing heads. They do look like loft wings. These ones look more like... I don't know, some kind of chicken, I guess. Wow. So this was what was waiting for us in that huge cloud. This is the Stormwind Ark from the kids' song. Huh? Oh! Uh, Zelda? What the? This proves it, Link. The blizzard that's been pounding Rito Village is coming from there. Oh yeah, didn't I see someone here a minute ago? Weird. I could swear that they were just here. Oh, we finally hit the floor. Brilliant. <laughs> uh, we're not having any of that. I'm, I am amazed. I am without words. I, I was pretty convinced that that was the dungeon. And now I'm at the dungeon. Wow. They have really gone and said, yeah, you know what? We kind of screwed up with the last one, didn't we? Uh, thank you, Link. Just pick up... No, oh, good grief. Link. <clears throat> Alright, so... Um, I guess now we have a temple slash dungeon to... Ooh, hello. Okay. Looks like it's shut tight, but the source of the blizzard has got to be right under that hatch. Isn't there some way you can get it open? Huh. That sound! There it is again! Brave Fletchling. There are still five locks securing the hatch on the deck. Use your power to release all five locks, and the hatch should open. Oh, wait. Here's the Divine Beast. <laughs> I get it now. <laughs> the voice doesn't care. I noticed that, yeah. It was calling out to me loud and clear. The source of the blizzard messing up the village has got to be under this hatch. If that voice was right, it'll open once we find a way to release all five locks. We're so close. Come on, Link. Let's go figure out how to open these locks. No, 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 no. No true jellies. We don't do true jellies in this house. Okay, so this one, you can clearly see it's active. But the others are lacking any sort of go juice. So, we need to find a way into the... So that one's above us. Oh, it's on this level. 
We need to find all of the things that, uh... Do I, do I hit this, or...? Oh, wait! Hang on. I got a hand thing for that. Gotta f find all the gold juice activators. No, 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 no. That's another one with a bloody flamethrower. I do not like the flamethrowers. Actually, I just had a thought. Can I say something? I'm going to say something a little bit controversial here. I think the the bow mechanics in this game is better than like Skyrim. I think it's it might be better than The Witcher as well. It's just it just feels more fun to use. Take that. Can I just stick it to that? Yeah, I can. Hmm. Like that. Attach. Nope. <laughs> can I can I just grab that though? Nope. It needs an attachment, and that's too long. Okay. Uh, I could probably find, like, a stick or something. Uh, that might be too... See, that looks too long as well, but I think that's where it... Might be able to use that. I don't know. Need to get in there somehow, and I can't seem to, uh, turn this. Yeah, because it's not- I'm not grabbing it at a lever point, I'm grabbing it at the center, so I can't turn it. Mm. <laughs> I'm really wearing this kid out. Can I break that? No, it don't, doesn't seem like I can. Maybe this one, because this one's smaller. Try sticking to the side, actually. There we go. Oh no, I've. Hang on. Like that. There we go. Oh. Oh well, stays open at least. That's all I care about. All right. Hey, look at that! Is this for one of the locks? It's kind of shaped like a windmill. Okay, so where are you? Come here. <clears throat> okay, so that's undone one of the locks. Well, that's one. Um, there's a chest in there as well. So there's lasers there. Okay, let's see what else we got. What's the the next close one? There's one at the back. So we'll do that one. No way. I think that was a cannon on the top. Uh, what have we 
we got you. Doesn't looks like there's a chest inside it, perhaps. Um, I think what was the way I did it before? Come on, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, what was the way I did it before? I I had a um. I don't recall. Alright, well I'll just do what I usually do and that's um, her bonfire next to it. Ah, uh, there's no point. Just do that. There it goes. I came up. I, I I did something earlier, which was uh, oh, um, uh, uh, it's fine. I did something earlier with the ice, and um, it was like a a big rush of flames. I can't remember what I did though. Okay, there's, um... Okay, so that's a way in from below. There's nothing else in this room. Okay. Hey, don't blow away! Maybe, um, hmm. I don't know. I need to get in. I haven't seen any ways of getting actually inside the ship yet. I really don't want my way into the ship being jumping off the ship. That's gonna, oh, it is. Of course it is. And I can't get in through there either. Okay. Good grief. Oh. There's the cannon. Oh, thanks, kid. Is that cannon aiming at me? Yes! Yes, it is in fact aiming at me. Wait, is there a way in? That looks like a way in. Hello? That looks like a way in. I wanna I, I really wanna talk about the cannons, but I'm a bit preoccupied with not getting shot. Okay, so the cannons, that's really interesting because, oh, thanks kid. Because the cannon is like, uh, again, like Twilight Princess. There was, um, the cannon supposedly fell from the sky and then you rebuild it to be able to get to the sky temple or the wind temple was it the sky was it the sky temple the city in the sky that's right in twilight princess and um now they've got very similar though admittedly stone clad um Cannons on here? This is so connected to Twilight Princess, it's crazy. Not only that, but as I pointed out earlier, the, the sound effect that plays when you use this kid's ability. It's also Twilight Princess. There's so many references to Twilight Princess in here. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know how to get the, that door up. Yeah, it's it's really got me. Wow, that is so high. It's really got me wondering. Do you know what's really got me wondering is uh, what would happen if I actually break that? Can okay, so apparently I I can't break the the beam with a bow. Um, I'm kind of worried about what will happen, like if the floor will fall out or something. Well, apparently that beam didn't get. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, that's a trap. <laughs> yeah, that floor would have fallen out. Ooh, a ruby. Very nice. Okay, so I'm going to stick to uh, being, like, on the edges here. Because I don't think if anything is going to fall out, it's only going to be this centerpiece. It's not going to be the the edging. Oh, wow, this place looks amazing. And it's forcing me to ask so many questions. Oh yeah, that's the thing I can do. I remember now. Time bomb and a portable pot. Oh heck. Um I'm gonna need your assistance on this one. Um, oh, hello. Wait, is that a ruby? It is. Oh, he was going to fuse the ruby. Uh, I got him faster than he could fuse. Oh, there's bombs there as well. Oh, good grief. Need to be more careful. Okay, so that was the way in that I couldn't get into. Uh, last time. What does... Uh, how does opening it benefit... Oh, I can go up. Oh, hello. I can pick I can pick this up. Interesting. Hello. Um Oh, that didn't improve my shield at all. <laughs> Well, actually, I guess it did. It means that I can go up against um, flamethrowers with it. Yeah. So that I can use that to block flamethrowers. Wow. Lots of arrows. Not complaining, but... Kind of worried about why I need so many arrows. What on earth is that? Captain Reaper. Oh, okay, so it's... Uh, let's see. 
I could drop that. Yeah, I'll drop there. So what's the bonus? Um, it resonates with the Zone device slightly. Oh, okay. That's fine. That works for me. I actually really like the design of the Zonai horns. Especially when you can uh, mix them with a weapon. So like that, that sword looks really sick. Okay, so I'm going to guess that I need... <gasps> I need these. I need these. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, wait. Ah! Curses. Right. I need to attach this to here. Like that. Yes! Yes! I know what I gotta do. Okay. Kid! In the way of my big stone thing. Okay. Can't see, can't see, game, game, game. Uh, maybe three will be enough? I don't know. We'll find out now. Come on. Yep, that did it. Did he just get... Did, the, did he just get whacked by the thing? Is he the only one in here? He is. Cool. Alright, so... Uh, Kid, you need to do your stuff right there. Poor Tulin, yeah. It's like, remember... <clears throat> remember Maka? At least I can't drop Tulin into a blender. When we were playing um, Wind Waker, uh, we may have, or I say we, but it was me. <laughs> I may have accidentally dropped Makar into a blender. That was, um, oh, I've already opened that. Probably, um, <laughs> probably didn't deserve it, but, uh, it's what he got. Oh, uh, I can, however, use Tulin as a human shield. Bonus. <laughs> okay, um, where next? What haven't I got? I got that one. I got that one. There's one up high. And then there's two below me, it seems. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is B2. This is B1. And this is B1. Okay, so they are below me. <clears throat> can I get can I get up onto the roof here? I cannot. Oh, I can there though. T 
To quote the Hulk in Thor Ragnarok, you bad friend. Hey now. <laughs> Not that bad. I didn't drop Tulin into a blender. <laughs> Okay, we'll take that one. Yeah, that is definitely the fastest way to open up those ice. More arrows. Okay, I am really starting to worry about why I need so many arrows. I'm not complaining that I'm getting them. I just... I'm just worried about what it is I'm going to need them for. Like, games don't give you stuff for nothing. Anyone who has played Doom or Quake knows to fear the room that's filled with HP and ammo. Because it means that there's something coming next. Nope, wrong button. Oh, a Zonite Shield. <sighs> ah, I could drop that one. Um, okay. I don't want to use the Zonite Shield right now. I'll stick with my Stone Shard Shield. Um, where else can I go from here? Yeah, that was active. Um, I guess up. Oh, that's not a great place to come out, but whatever. That is a stick. Don't know why it said I haven't picked one up before, but... <sighs> oh! Wait, I've got a full map? I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, oh, I see. If I jump over this side, I can get in that way. Uh, assuming that, uh... Oh, wait, no, it's this side. This side. Yeah. Okay, so assuming that the, the... That that window is actually open, I should be able to get in through there. It is not open. That is a cannon. Oh, that one's coated in ice. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Oh no, that's gonna hurt. Oh no, okay. No, it didn't. <laughs> I thought I was gonna blow myself up there. Ah, oh, see, that, that doesn't look healthy. Okay, so I need to connect those two together, I think. I think. Oh, what's that? I should open the window. Yes, okay, cool. 
Oh, what if I use... I could probably use the icicle... Oh, but I don't have any. Um... Wait, that's an icicle. Yeah, that works. Hmm, maybe it won't work. Oh, no, it worked. It worked. Cool. Kid, come on. Okay, two more to go. Alright, so I just done that one. There's that one there, and there's this one here. Okay. So I need to come back out, or I need to go up. Am I able to go up in here? It's too high. That ceiling is way too high. And I can't use that one. Okay. Wait, can I use... Yes, actually I can. Ah, that's all good, Waggy. I'm just glad you're you. Are you enjoying it? Let's have a look. Where where do I need to go in? I need to go in. I think I need to go in this side now. Um, uh, this side. This side. I'm also curious what's inside that. It's probably going to end up being an enemy, but whatever. It was... It was an enemy at some point. I can't get shrines building thing. Yes, I like watching <laughs> sometimes. Uh, it's alright. Hey, it, it, every, you know, it takes time for everyone to figure out the controls. So just keep at it and I'm sure you'll figure it out. I mean, I managed to somehow. Oh, damn it. See, no, I haven't figured it out. <laughs> Oh, wait, hang on. No, there's there's no way under there. Okay. I thought maybe I'd have to go underneath and come up, but there's no... There is no underneath. Ah, how do I do that? Maybe come in from the top? Is there... Oh, excuse me. My stomach's making some gurglies. <laughs> Alright. Um, actually, I think I need to come in from the top. That's a good point. That's a good point, Kiko. If the child says they're an adult, then it's not child labor. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Can I just climb up this? Well, that's a good thing. It's not like uh, it's not like the shrines where you can't climb on anything. Though that ice makes me think I'm not going to be able to climb up very far. Spider link, spider link. Wait, I've been up here. Do I have to get in through the top somehow? Wait, can I, can I use this? Uh, 
and a whole new world of possibilities has opened up to me. No, I'm good. Actually, I'm good. I'm good. Good. Well, that answers that question, doesn't it? That's the way in. Goodness gravy. Okay. Oh, no. I can't do that. A dazzling place in... <laughs> this... No singing Disney in the chat. I'll get sued. Ha <laughs> 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 What? Link, what? Link, what are you doing? Link. I can't see you. When I can't see you, I get concerned. Like a child, I swear. What is that? Is that... No. That's not one of those. Okay. I don't know if that was how I was supposed to do it, but I've done it. It's done. You're a fish out of water? Takes hours in shrines because I can't build. I got the first four in the sky, then only two since I'm out of the sky. There's a- I- I will say this, there's a lot of sideways thinking is the way I like to- the way I like to put it. You really do have to think outside the box because sometimes they, they just give you something. They're like, here you go. It's really easy. And then when you actually stop and think about it, it's like, that's not easy at all. <laughs> oh, it's a two-handed. No, I can, I can stay there. Thanks. Well, I was lucky I missed all them lasers. Link, 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 link. Stop. Thank you. Alright. Last one. This one. Okay, so I've been there. And I... Didn't see how to get in through here. There's... There's more windows underneath the ship. Holy heck. That's gonna be... Uh... That's a hazard. That's a hazard right there. Don't you give me that backwards talking nonsense. Oh, there it is. That's the way. Hi, Cannon. Bye, Cannon. I said bye, Cannon. Hey, <laughs> you let your guard down. Okay. This is the last one. I squid. <laughs> Wait a minute, I think I'm a bit out. Uh, uh. We have indeed. Righto. 
Right, let me catch up with chat a second. So, links to... Uh, da, da, blah, 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 blah. If there's anything I learned from babysitting is that you never leave Chaos Kids alone with the game video to watch. Yeah, that's definitely... Don't, don't do that. That's why you should always pay attention to children. Never think that they're safe because they... Even if they are, they'll find a way not to be. Um... I'm not a giver up, so excellent. That's what I like to hear. Don't give up. Never give up. It's not worth giving up because you you'll figure it out eventually. Even if it takes you a thousand years, it could you you'll get there eventually. And it's always better to say you tried than to not try. So yeah. Wait, is there something up there? There's a chest there. Cannon? No. Bad cannon. Bad cannon. Bad cannon! A strong construct bot. I have plenty of these. Uh, I'll, I'll swap that one out, seeing as I've already used that one. Alright, where are you, kid? Kid. Kid. Kid, get here quickly. No, uh, this way. This way. I, do, I don't like those cannons. They're terrifying. The noises they make. Though they do look like the cannon from Twilight Princess. No, I'm gonna lie. Look very much so like the cannon from Twilight Princess. Alright, so we done it. <clears throat> That's a long way down. Okay, let's go. Oh, the beastie. Holy moly! <laughs> Hell yeah! A real boss fight! That's what we're talking about! Nah, it's fine, I got it. Do I, uh... I do not do that. No. No, I noticed that. Wait. Ooh, that was close. Oh. Uh, right. Okay, just get out of the way. Oh, wait. What's it doing? Link, you. Oh, hell. <sighs> no, not getting it. Not getting it. I think that stuff is healing as well. Okay. Yeah, it is. The ice is healing as well, so I can't... This is why I have so many arrows. Yikes! 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 Yep. 
Oh, I hit it. I got it. Okay, okay. Oh, it's now got a hole through the middle. Uh, let's, uh, uh, avoid that. Don't get that close to its mouth. Oh yeah, I got it. Brilliant. Okay, he's doing his teleporty thing again. Is it? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not not unconscious. I needed to throw its spikes off. It's easier to attack it from above. That's the way. That's the way I'm gonna get it. Ah, uh, that is not working. That is not working. Let's uh, let's uh, actually equip a bow. Actually, let's equip a. Uh, One, two, I think it's missing. There it goes. Got it. Link, Link. Oh my goodness, the music, yeah, it's so good. Come on. Oh dear. That's gonna be a problem. It's easier said than done. Oh, it just. It healed itself. We're a douche. <sighs> I'm not trying. Alright, it's uh... Oh, that's coming straight at me, ain't it? Yep, that's the one. Uh, I can't get down there. Oh my goodness. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> This is rough. Oh crap. Um, no, actually not. Um, let's um, quickly with the foods on that one. I got plenty of food, so I'm not like too worried, but holy moly. All right, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, cool. There he goes. Wait, hang on. Probably not the best idea to be on a stationary object when there's tornadoes flying around. But also it's kind of like protection from the spikes. Ow. That's coming straight at me. <laughs> oh no, it's growing back! No. Alright. Okay. Oh, cr drop! Uh. 
Um, no, I'm good, actually. Alright. Ah, uh, that's not gonna be enough. There we go, that's better. Got it. Let's, um, actually, speaking of hungry, let's, uh, get a little bit, let's keep myself up to full. Because I don't know how much that's gonna hit for damage. Oh, it's coming from above! It's really hard to get an idea of the scale of this thing. It is absolutely massive. Oh. That's why it, it seems like... Look, that... It seems like I should hit, but I'm not going to because it's actually really far away. There we go. That's it. Oh, no! Uh, I need to get that last hit in. There we go. Uh, oh, yes! That's what I'm talking about. Actual boss fight. Holy moly. <sighs> that was it. That was the one. Wow. That was so good. What's that? <gasps> it's one of the relics. Oh! That's the same lotus statue that was in the Forgotten Temple. I'll be taking this. I deserve this. That was... that was incredible. That's the relic. That's the, the amber relic. But, uh... He is! He's a sage. Tulin, my brave fledgling. I know that voice. It's you. You're the one who's been guiding us? Yes, I am your ancestor from a time long ago. I proudly served Hyrule's first king. I was a Rito warrior and a sage with the first king. Where you fight, the winds follow. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You make me proud. That monster you defeated, the source of that intense blizzard, it was summoned by the demon king. He thought he could stop you from obtaining the stone you just found. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? This is a lot to learn all of a sudden. I know. But listen while I tell you what happened in the past. Oh yes, definitely want to know. Prisoning war. And the mission 
our people must accomplish. Years ago. Oh, maybe. When the kingdom of Hyrule. Kiko says Wonder for Volley was related. I imagine so. A great evil, the Demon King, descended on the land. He sought to wipe out anyone who opposed him. But Rauru, the first king of Hyrule, requested my aid, as well as that of five other warriors, to help in the fight. Rauru entrusted us with amazing artifacts, secret stones, objects that amplified our formidable abilities. I carried one into battle as the Sage of Wind. It was thrilling to fight alongside my fellow sages. That's Ravali's bow. Match for the Demon King's overwhelming power. His magic was staggering, and I was unable to slip past his defenses, no matter how hard I tried. In the end, King Rauru realized that we would not be able to defeat the Demon King. To save our world, King Rauru sacrificed himself and sealed the Demon King away. So that was the imprisoning war. Hang on, what? That doesn't make a lot of sense, though. Survived that climactic battle, and I would soon receive a visitor with a request that would define the future of the Rito. It was another of the six sages, the Sage of Time. Oh! The Demon King will return. The magic binding him will be undone. When that time comes. A noble swordsman named Link will oppose him. But Link will only succeed with the Rito's help. Summon the winds and support this hero. It was clear what part the Rito will play. It will be an honor to defeat the Demon King. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Rito Sage of Wind will awaken once more. And you can count on the full support of the Rito. Wow. And now you know about the imprisoning war and a mission I accepted on our behalf. You've saved Rito Village, but there's more to do. The Demon King will soon recover his full strength. Tulin, my brave fledgling, you must take up my secret stone and honor the Sage of Time's request. Fight the Demon King with the Swordsman Link. It's my mission to fight the Demon King with you? I don't know how I feel about that. Getting a kid involved Link, in this. <clears throat> this is so, so amazing! I can't believe my ancestor gave me such an important mission. And it involves fighting alongside you to save the world! If we don't do anything, then the world is going to be in big trouble. I can't let that happen. I'll do this! I'll happily take this secret stone! Okay. Link, hold out your hand. <clears throat> I, Tulin, the Sage of Wind, swear to fight by your side until the end. Take this. It's proof that I'm with you. Oh, 
Oh, it's the rings. Oh, so the rings are essentially like the uh like the gifts from the spirits. You can use that ring to call on my power anytime. All right? <sighs> oh, I get it. Am I still on top of the boat? Please say I'm still on top of the boat. I should have looked around first. Given the loading time, it's going to put me back in the village. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Teba's gonna have kittens. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, true. Man, that amount of sudden snow melt would absolutely flood that area. <laughs> Point of view, Finland when spring finally comes. <laughs> I imagine that the flight range, you know, the, the chasm that goes all around is now a lake. <laughs> Just because of the sheer amount of snow melt. <laughs> you guys did it. Yeah, turns out it was easy once we started working together. Power of friendship once again rears its ugly head. This was no small feat. I still can't believe the Stormwind arc from the children's song was real. Me neither. You could have knocked me over with a feather. <gasps> For a job well done, Tulin. Wait, what? This bow meant so much to you, and now you're giving it to me? It was always my intention to give it to you once you became of age as a warrior. It's Ravali's bow. Dad. Thank you. Oh, I missed that line there, damn it. <laughs> he's gonna prove it. He's gonna prove that it, it, he's worth it. Hey Link, that woman in my in the vision my ancestor showed us, didn't she look a lot like Princess Zelda to you? Do you think that was the real princess? I mean, it seemed like a long, long time ago. It's still a bunch of unanswered questions. I gotta know more about the figure we saw in the Stormwind Ark, so I'm gonna go in look into it personally. Next time you see me, I'll have more information about Princess Zelda, so check in with me sometime, okay? Oh, hey Austin, welcome to the stream. How you doing, man? And remember... With the Sage's power, the two of us can keep working together no matter what. <clears throat> the Vow of Tulin. Proof of the Vow of Tulin, Sa Sage of Wind. Use it to summon or dismiss the Avatar of Tulin. Huh. And there we have it. That was, uh... You can activate and deactivate Sage's Vows in the key items menu. So... Oh, there it is, look. 
so that is that was it that was the first uh dungeon actual dungeon done that boss was amazing i want to talk about it i want to talk about a lot of things first of all i'm gonna save i'm gonna save right here right now and we're gonna we're gonna have a quick chat because i've seen some stuff going by in the chat and I want to talk about it. I want to. I'm going to save it a second time just to be sure. Because I didn't watch it completely save the first time. So I don't believe it happened. And we're going to go over to the just chatting window. Because wow. Yeah there's a, there's a lot to unpack from that. Alright. Um, yeah so. I just want to quickly scroll up. Because I was. Um. So, Mary asked... Okay, so I'm confused about when this game happens compared to Breath of the Wild. Okay, so compared to Breath of the Wild, it, it's it comes directly afterwards. It's like five years or so later, right? The part that I've been trying to work out this entire time is the Imprisoning War. Because they keep talking about the Imprisoning War, and the Imprisoning War happens directly after Ocarina of Time in the Downfall timeline, okay? So basically, in Ocarina of Time, you've got three divergent timelines. You've got the Child timeline, which is Majora's Mask, Twilight Princess, Four Swords Adventures, and then supposedly Breath of the Wild. Then you've got the Adult timeline, which is Wind Waker, Spirit, tra uh, sorry, Wind Waker, Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, and that timeline ends. That one does not tie into Breath of the Wild. It cannot. It is impossible. There is no Hyrule after Spirit Tracks. Okay. So, uh, the third timeline is a what if timeline. It happens if Link fails to kill Ganon in the adult timeline. Right? So it's a spin-off timeline from the adult timeline where as an adult you're fighting Ganon. You fight Ganon, you lo uh, you lose, and then the uh, Hy Hyrule army goes to war with Gerudo. Okay? That's when the imprisoning war happens. Then it's a link to the past. Then it's um, Link's Awakening. Then it's Legend of Zelda... Oh, sorry, uh, sorry, hang on. Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, A Link Between Worlds, Legend of Zelda, Zelda 2, and then potentially Breath of the Wild. Okay? So that's how the timelines are. That's how they work. The Imprisoning War is supposed to take place at the beginning of the Downfall timeline. But this is saying that the Imprisoning War took place... And, and was fought in by the first king of Hyrule. I... I can't with this. Unless... It, it doesn't... It doesn't fit the timeline. Unless the timeline is being completely rewritten. Though there is one possibility. Oh, Zelda is there because she's the... She's the Sage of Time. She went back in time. That happened at the beginning of this game. Hang on. There is something, though. Let me just get my book. Because I've got a big green book as well. Okay. Okay. So, according to the Hyrule Historia, which is quite likely out of date now, right? There is the creation of the land and sky. That's the very beginning. Skyward Sword. Uh, the ancient battle and the reincarnation of the goddess Hylia. The ancient battle. I think they're using the term imprisoning war to refer to... The imprisoning of the Demon King before you fight them in Skyward Sword. 
all we know from that era, from the Sky, from Skyward Sword itself, is that the Sky Islands were raised up. We don't really know when, but um, the Sky Islands were raised up by Hylia. There were humans on the Sky Islands, and while people were living in the sky, Hylia was going to war with the Demon King. Demise. The Demon King Demise. So, if this takes place, if, if the flashbacks we're seeing takes place before Skyward Sword, then I think that would make a certain amount of sense. Right? It, except that they're using the term imprisoning war, even though that was supposed to have been for something else. So, what I'm thinking is, very simply, the imprisoning war was moved from the beginning of the downfall timeline to the very beginning of the timeline. Like, creation happened, then the Imprisoning War, then Skyward Sword. So Breath, uh, so Tears of the Kingdom take, potentially takes place before everything and after everything. It takes place at both the beginning and the end of the timeline. And I'm... I... I, I I think it's going to turn out to be the child timeline. As much as this game seems to be focusing on downfall timeline elements, and I was definitely taken off guard by the whole imprisoning war stuff, there's definitely elements that would suggest um, that it was downfall timeline, but this is, I think, now it's steering more towards Twilight Princess as being the major touchstone for these for, for this continuity. Wow. So much is revealed in just that one cutscene. Or at very least it potentially answers a lot of questions and we are potentially going to find out more as as the story continues but that really does seem like we're looking at the war that sealed demise the first time excuse me i got hiccups now <sighs> the war that sealed demise the first time when we play Skyward Sword and we see um, the the sealed grounds and we see um, the imprisoned and all that sort of stuff that is Demise that is the Demon King Demise already imprisoned and that's what we're looking at we're looking at the war to imprison the Demon King that's Really cool. I'm surprised they went with actually calling it the Imprisoning War, though, because that's uh, that's definitely that was definitely said, or it's been called that definitely to add a certain amount of confusion. I think, and that's that's okay. I like it when they do that. I like that because it keeps you on your toes, so you don't get stuck in a mindset of oh no, he said Imprisoning War, therefore it must be Downfall timeline. It's not. That's really cool. Oh, I really want to play more now. But it's already quarter to midnight. And, um... <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to call it there. Wow. Okay. No, I'm really... I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with the way this game is going. Can you tell? <laughs> right. Sorry, let me, uh... Let me go through the chat. Yes, I know. I'm still streaming. It's kind of crazy. Oh, my battery's about to die. That's fine. I'm not playing anymore tonight. Um. 
Let's see. Awakening as a sage, cold. <laughs> I wish it's hot and humid. Oh, yeah. No, I hate... I, I am enjoying that uh, winter has finally come to Australia. Uh, it's It's been pretty bad. But it's kind of... It's It's been quite sudden, the change. It's gone from being really, really warm to suddenly being quite cool. And I, I like it. Um, let's see. Doing good. Liking tears. Uh, I... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I liking Tears of the Kingdom so far? Yes. <laughs> actually, uh, that makes sense. I, actually, that makes sense to what I was saying before. Remember I was saying that um, the uh, the icons, the, the, the things that, um, the secret stones, they look like the amber relics from Skyward Sword? Well, that would make sense. If the if the sages predating the um, the imprisoning war had those symbols, maybe people would carve them out of amber, as like um like a, how people wear crosses and people you know have uh, religious iconography. I wonder if people carved the amber relics in reverence to the sages, but because it's been so long, no one knows what they were actually made for. That's why in Skyward Sword, it says, these are an ancient amber relic, but no one knows what they were used for. That makes so much sense. So yeah, it. I, I had an idea that this was going to be that war, it was the fact that they called it the Imprisoning War that threw me, but now I'm back on track with that one. This is definitely the war, the war for the surface. This is the war for the surface. Wow. That's amazing. That is really amazing. Yeah, I'm really loving this game, dude. Um, I've been enjoying it until now. Now I'm really loving it because this has done this game in the first, I'm going to call it the first quarter. There's no way this is the first quarter. I have got so much still left to do, but this game has done so much in such a short period of time that Breath of the Wild didn't even touch. Breath of the Wild is the Empire Strikes Back of, um, well, no, it's not the Empire Strikes Back at all. Um, Breath of the Wild is basically the middle story. Because like I've said before, it's it's Skyward Sword. Oh, shooting star. Uh, it's Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, and Tears of the Kingdom. So, uh, sorry, Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm just thinking faster than my mouth can keep up. Um, <clears throat> so those three are basically the trilogy, the Hylia trilogy, so far. And... Breath of the Wild being the middle child, it didn't get a lot of, uh, anything going on. It basically just reintroduced Hyrule. It's Tears of the Kingdom. This is the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, minus the teddy bears. And yeah, I, I thought that was a really amazing boss. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, Skyward, uh, Skyward Sword is supposed to be the reboot. Yes, Skyward Sword is absolutely the reboot. I'm still ma I still maintain that. I think that there's some differences. They have changed um, a couple of things from Skyward Sword. Definitely have. But... Uh, I still maintain that that one is still a, still the reboot. It is, it is, like I said, the Hylia trilogy so far. Whether they continue forward doing more in this Hylia continuity, uh, I don't know. But the Hylia trilogy seems to be pretty uh, established at this point in my mind. 
Um, what Mary said. Nerd excitement level 100. Yeah, I know, right? I can't. Oh. I have to be honest, right? I, 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 cause I have to be absolutely blunt and honest about this cause you, you wouldn't respect me if I wasn't. I have been terrified that Tears of the Kingdom was going to turn around and say, all of the other Zeldas are rubbish. You don't need them anymore. This is the only one. I've been afraid of that because it seemed early on that it was kind of doing that, that there was an element of tabula rasa. But after seeing this, I don't think that's the case anymore. I, I think that this is very, very respectful of what's come before to a huge degree to a de they had I don't think you realize this. They are giving us the origins of the sages. If anyone's ever wondered where the sages come from, how the sages gain their power, who the ancient sages were, from Twilight Princess, the ancient sages, we are starting to see that. We are, they are revealing the origin story to something that we probably didn't even realize we wanted the origin story for. Where did the sages come from? Who were the ancient sages? It, it does, it would feel lazy. Yeah, absolutely. If they were to say this is a complete reboot and screw all the stuff, like, I'd understand that. I'd understand it to a certain extent because Zelda can be a bit convoluted. Um, I can recite the, the timeline backwards and forwards because that is my area of nerd expertise is Legend of Zelda. I, I will pick out random instances of lore which... Like, when I was playing Breath of the Wild and I went under the bridge and I was like, Oh, this is a reference to the, the, A Link to the Past. I know, that, that's so random. But, yeah, th that is my area of expertise. If I was to toot my own horn, if I was to blow my own ocarina, it would be to say, uh, Zelda is my area of expertise. And... This, I feel... It's immediately gone from somewhere where I was concerned, I had some fears that they were just going to wipe the slate, to, oh no, they're not wiping the slate, they are filling in all the gaps. This isn't tabula rasa, this is we're gluing the damn thing together and we're going to fill in all the cracks. And it seems to be working so far. Kind of like what they did with Mortal Kombat. Oh, what they- yeah, what they did with Mortal Kombat is so confusing. Like, <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Wow. Here I am talking about three different timelines, including one which is a what-if timeline, which always makes things worse. And I'm saying I don't understand the Mortal Kombat timeline. Yeah. Yeah, with Mortal Kombat 11, I think it went back to the beginning, and then they've gone and rebooted it again with the new Mortal Kombat, is now called Mortal Kombat 1. And and now Liu Kang is a god. And Liu Kang is the god of, of Earthrealm. And... okay. <laughs> Alright. I'm pretty confused. It, the game looks... pristine. Not gonna say any different to that. The game looks really good. But... Uh... Yeah, Liu Kang is suddenly a god. I'm not sure. Did I miss something at the end of Mortal Kombat 12? Quite possibly. I haven't played it all the way through, so yeah. But yes, um, I'm psyched. I'm happy. This was such an excellent session. I have learned so much. I am really happy with how the lore seems to be uh, matching up. I feel like what I said at the beginning with Zelda 
doing the whole, oh my goodness, it's the imprisoning war, was definitely something to be wary of because um, it was going to be used against us and I was, I was spot on. <laughs> but I still fell for it anyway. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I'm really excited to get uh, to get back to playing Tears of the Kingdom tomorrow. And like you can see on the um, on the the schedule right there, I will be back tomorrow with more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And uh, we're going to be going back to Lookout Landing and possibly onwards from there to maybe Gerudo, maybe um, Zora Domain, maybe, uh, where's the other one? What's the other one? Eldin. We could go to Eldin, could go to Goron City. But either way, we're going back tomorrow. Maybe, maybe actually, maybe tomorrow we'll do... Sorry, my, my stomach is giving me <laughs> trouble at the moment. Um, maybe we will do some underground stuff tomorrow. I wanted to do some underground stuff today, but we've got all those maps that we found today. So maybe we'll start... Okay, here's the plan. We start by going underground and doing the mapping. Uh, doing the map stuff. Then... We go to Zora Domain. Should we do Zora Domain next? That sounds like a good idea. And we'll get that going tomorrow. Hopefully, tomorrow we don't we don't end up spending quite this long. <laughs> well, are we on seven hours now. Right. Okay. I need to go. Alright, thank you once again everyone for coming and joining me today. Thank you so much to everyone who has uh, been with us in the chat and to everyone who's just been hanging around and um, just chilling. Even if you don't necessarily take part, that's cool too. Thank you for watching. Um, do remember to do that YouTube thing, the like, the comments, the subscribes because they do all help me in the algorithm. And to everyone out there in Vodland, thank you for watching. I know this is a long one. I'm really sorry. Um, and I will catch you all in the next one. Thank you very much. And be excellent to each other. And game on. Good night, folks. <laughs>